you. No, Why we're not? talking about other. We're, we're talking about it's other either... strong IPs like Monster Hunter. No, oh, it's, sorry, it's I meant man. Monster about... Rancher. Sorry, I, I got the it. IPs confused. But what about I Tetris Battle it. Royale? Mm. Oh, Lucido, you shut the hell up. Mm. I oh, was yeah. gonna say we either we either talk about Yokai Watch or we talk about Hotel Transylvania to appease Octo. Yeah, please. Creative please. endeavors. Yo, so honestly, I feel like. A lot of the, the, the ships in Hotel Transylvania really just, they have no bases. So, like, I'm going to lay out my Octo, list. stop. No, no, oh, here, no, no, Octo's on to something. But the thing, a lot of the ships are, like, it's really, I, it's really hard. Kurt. Because Kurt, one of the big things about Kurt, Hotel Transylvania is, like, everyone's married. But, like, what Kurt, if maybe, guys, like, we're guys, single? Kurt, what? Swingers. They're all swingers. Kurt, I'm Kurt, telling you. Kurt. Yep. Kurt. Shh. No. Please do not make me regret hosting you, Taka. No. <laughs> You regret hosting me all the time. Why would I want to? Octo, I, I will. I will say this. I still get messages of people actually asking what your like uh, fan fiction, whatever the website is, like what your actual idea that is. That's yeah, and I'm you. like, I don't know. That's up to you, super sleuths. You gotta find it. Actually, you uh, said it live on one stream. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. That's true. I did. Uh, well, Vagnos, thank you for the sub and uh, 15 months of support. Cartoon Kitsune with 510 bits. Hey guys, I love the latest arc so much. And can't wait to see what Monty has in store next. Also, Taka, I'll be working on sewing something for you. So look forward to that. I need a hat. It's cold. Thank you, though, Cartoon and Kitsune. Alpacas oh, I know, I know, and tall I know Cartoon and Kitsune's work. A... It's super, super quality. Ooh, sweet. I'm excited to see it. Uh, alpacas and top hats. Thank you for the prime sub. And the Scottish Boomstick. Thank you for the seven-month resub. Taka, I have a child. It's yours. I'm sorry. Uh, who? I'm sorry. Taka's not here. Uh, Pickled Undead with a seven-month resub. Thank you so much as well. Alrighty, let's 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 talk real fast about Bosco. Where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Twitter and Instagram, and then right here on twitch.tv slash my name Edward Bosco. I'm playing a lot of sports games, been doing a lot of WWE 2K19, and that's my shtick. I'm sticking to it. Nice. Octopimp, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at AOL keyword Octopimp. Just type it in and your you'll pop, all my stuff will pop right up and you can come hang out with me. That's... What about your GeoCities? Oh yeah, my check on my Geo City. You know, use your favorite search engine. Uh, ask Jeeves. Uh, Lycos. Vista. Lycos. Yeah, Alta can, Vista. Do you do you have a hotmail that I can contact you with? Uh, uh yeah, uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to log into Internet Explorer. No, he doesn't have one. He is one. I am one. Yeah, uh, anytime go. I have to pay somebody through PayPal and they have a hotmail, I'm like, oh. are you fucking serious? Like, I literally <laughs> like admonish them for it because I have you a just lot. Send them like a lime a lime wire link. Well, everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone be mad at me. That's my business email. Like, hey, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna send you this. I'm gonna send you this Kazaa file. You're gonna have to download yeah. the money through. That. Oh, Man, gosh, I got so many viruses from Kazaa. It was worth it for those Simpson clips, though. Goomba, where can they find you? <laughs> You can find me at Gaijin Goomba everywhere except here because here there is no H because memes. But there's an H everywhere else. I talk about culture and games. I make you feel smarter about being a nerd and uh, bettering yourself at the same time. Gosh. I just recently got done doing a really kick-ass video about the actual Afro Samurai Yasuke. As well as, well, Afro Samurai, I suppose. It's good shit. Go check it out. It is. Ah, Distortion <laughs> Devil. Where can I find you? <laughs> What's that? They can find me on Twitter at Signal Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. Okay. This week, what I got going on is we got Friday Funhouse playing a bunch of party games with my friends. Saturday, we're starting up The Witcher Three, and it's gonna be a long one. Yep. 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 All right. I've heard yep. that some of the side. I've heard some of the side quests in that game like are longer than like some standalone games. Mm. <laughs> So, have fun. I've got a I've got a special little little uh little soundboard set up for The Witcher 3. It's going to be great. Hey, uh, uh, uh we'll be fighting ghosts. Yes, fighting ghosts with a lot of beautiful women and that's all we are doing. Connor, are you in game? Cuz I don't I don't uh, see you, my friend. You're being so passive aggressive. You just ask him to be in the game. Hey. <laughs> Get in the game. It's EA Sports. It's EA in the game. Sports. Uh, there we you. go. There we go. Uh, me and Octo are waiting for it. Monty Glue, where can they find you? Hi. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on, on Twitter. I mean, posting a bit more art. I've been trying to refine some stuff and practice a bit more lately. Uh, you can also find me on twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where I am chasing down Mr. X all the time. Um, for those of you who watch my streams, I successfully both hug and kiss Mr. X. It was great. Mr. Um, X. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I finished the Leon A scenario. We're going to go into Claire B next. 
Um, and then after that, I think I want to do some um, some tinkering around in the game and just see what I can I can mess around with. No like tofu run. I might do a tofu run. You need to I, do I a tofu kinda, run. I have to do a tofu run. It's it's it like hunk and tofu, and there's also like flan and like other types of tofu you can mm. unlock. Also, all of their hats are all the previous like Resident Evil I one know. and two hats. It's so and good. I love the, it. For me, the craziest thing is that they they're actually speaking Jack Japanese. Yeah, they're speaking Japanese, it's so and they're crazy. like, it, I think it's, it's the original so... voice actors. I hope so. Ooh, I hope so. If that's true, just I, sped I really up. Hope so. Yeah. The other thing I need to do is get all the raccoon bobbleheads too. That's the other goal I need to do is mm. get all those. Mm. Uh, yeah. Cool. Also, uh, Zito, where can they find you? Find me on twitch.tv slash Zito. Talk about D and D homebrew nonsense because there's way more than just what's uh, oh. handed to you in the player's handbook. What? I have an announcement after you're done. Sorry, after everyone's oh. introducing yourself. Sorry. Yeah, I, I uh, didn't tomorrow. Bring it up. Sorry for interrupting, Zito. Hello? Yeah, I'm in the uh, game. I'm... What are you talking about? I'm about to say... <laughs> 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 That's good. That's uh, good. <laughs> tomorrow you'll catch me. Uh... You'll catch me playing some new Hollow Knight DLC that's coming out for actual Valentine's Day. It's Ooh, where you get to play as Hornet. Oh. And uh, also, I'm going to be digging up an old indie game that, Goomba, you would remember. Remember Super Flight? Oh, yeah. Rem rem remember the birth of the Miss Fowl emote? Oh, no. Well, I'm bringing that shit back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. I wish I could be there. <laughs> <laughs> And also, I do have one more other thing to, to announce. Uh, I am planning on doing a little video series based on all that homebrew shit I've been purchasing, so... I heard you talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be calling it, uh... Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Let's go. Kobold it's Rebrew. Oh, okay. okay. Kobold <laughs> Rebrew. I like that. Yes. Nice. Well, I was ready for a really bad pun, like we were all with, like, grown at, but that's really, actually, that's really cute. I like that. Thank you. Oh wait, well, probate says didn't 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 Superfight give us blue eyes white mallard? I believe it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> mm. Alrighty, there the are a lot of so there are wow ah! there, are, there are a lot of bits there are a lot of subs I do need to get through a lot of these here guys. Um, all right, all right. So uh, I want to thank oh my god, Avakas and Top Hats, Biako, Gudren, uh, JP the Proxy ninety five, Renfield eighty eight for one thousand bits first time stream best thing of Wednesday. Thank you so much for checking out the stream. Oh my mm -hmm. god in heaven. K Macmon mm -hmm. with a seven month reset. Thank you so much. Uh, Chaos Volpez, Chehalem. Thank you again, Froggy's mom. Bardic Phalanx. Blackwing Hellcat with a thousand bits. The last that last few rounds with the Paladin was one of the most anime moments, I swear. One thousand bits. Yes, it was. And we had some beautiful art on Monday to go over that beautiful anime moment. Z Man Stardust, mm -hmm. Rook Alex, Scam Man 93, Telos 54. B Kimball1993, thank you so much for the subs. Lasker Fuffle, thank you as well. Uh, Crow the Immortal, thank you for the 460 bits. Viral Tech with the 2300 bits. Last episode was like No More Heroes boss fight. One down. Viantis, Bian you're next. 2300 bits. Viral Tech, one. Thank you so much. Registered Anon. Dragon Master Outcast, thank you so much. Deep, large deep dish pepperoni pizza for one task. Who pay for it? <laughs> one on 500 bits. Thank you so much. Neurotic neurotic Healer, thank you so much. Mikal, not Dante42, Xavier Poner7, Darky Arts, Skull Shifter, thank you so much for all the subs, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Dino Might36, thank you so much. Post Life Syndrome, 1000 bits. Came to say hello and good night. Got work at 4 a.m., but saw you were streaming. Thank you for the 1000 bits, Post Life Syndrome. Thank you for so much for the sword. Have a good day at work. CG with 100 bits, thank you. Da Daisy Head with the 1500 bits. Fucking finally been waiting for Hornet! Daisy Head says for 1,500 bits, we'll definitely go check that out over on Zito's stream. Blackfoot Ferret with the 18,002 bits. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you so much for the 18,002 bits. Uh, Manny525 with 100 bits. Money last week you gave Borky Matt Mercer's trademark catchphrase. Do you think, you make, you think you'll make your own someday? Oh, shit. I don't know. Monty Mon already has some. I think we can come up with them. Dropping dice, I think, is my thing at this point. No, one <laughs> second. Where is pigeons. it? Where Where is yeah. it? Griffon, 20... Thank you again, Blackfoot Fair, for the incredibly kind contribution, though. Uh, Griffon, 247. Cryptic Saiyajin. Grimless Prime. DRK Ganon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. The Talbs with 10,000 
bits my first 10k bit drop i've been waiting to do this for a while and everyone here is worth every bit the tobs thank you so much for the 10 thousand bits dude that is very kind of you uh sugar daddy systems with the 1500 bits finally got to make it do a lot do a live game well thank you so much sugar daddy systems skull shifter with the 1400 bits no message just bits thank you so much light work thank you for the 500 bits guys please help I'm going to be a DM for 5e. I've never done it before. We got ah! And he's just It's he's the just, easiest, dude. You'll be fine. One you will be fine, dude. Yorn, first time here watching you guys live. Would you mind if I made a novelization of the Unexpectables and their journey? 500 bits? Oh, gee. We'll get back to you after that. After all these bits, we got to get through here. 117, Yorn. Uh, Ghost Scope, thank you for the 500 bits. The message just bits. And the Unfan, thank you for the 300 bits. Briz on Ice, thank you for the 2100 bits. For the awesomeness that was last week. Thank you so much, Briz on Ice, for the 2100 bits. JC Blade X with the 500 bits. Have some bits. We have some bits. Burnout Voggin. Thank you so much for the 800 bits. Been listening to the podcast all day and now watching live for the first time. Now let's wrap this leg of an arc up. Thank you so much, Burnout Voggin. Blah blah with a thousand bits. <laughs> blah blah with a thousand. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's a solid Damn! Name. I get. I hit the first speed bump. Blah blah with a thousand bits. Someone keep an eye on Gruel on V Day. Jeepers. <laughs> The Chronic Healer with the 200 bits. Thank you so much, Avion fan. Thank you so much for the bits. Awkward, Hylian. Drink. Draco Magnus. Dial 357. Thank you for the subs. Crockbar gifting five subs to the community. Master Monster. Thank you for the subs. Defective Chief for the 700 bits. Can we talk about how Donald Duck has the exterminables? 700 yeah, he bits. Does, actually. And Hero Shepherd with the 400 bits. Birthday shout out to me. Birthday shout out to Hero Shepherd. Commando Joe with a 19 month resub. Go, Joe. Nettle Norseman with 100 bits, thank you so nice. much. And Death by Chair, 500 bits. Hey guys, glad I haven't caught you live for once in a while. Been dying to get back onto my campaign, but for, but my town has been buried in snow for the last week. You too. So the Ludomania will have to tie me over until I can play my zombie and ghost fire giant battle. Don't ask a gnome was involved. Uh, Big Bart 61991. Big Bart 61991. Blue Clock, thank you so much for the subs. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. And thank you again to the Talbs and Blackfoot Ferret for the incredibly kind bit drop. Neil Monkey Man, thank you as well for the 15 month resub. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the West Coast, yeah. no nobody X. Uh, I can talk about my week uh, real quick too. Uh, hi, I'm Takata 101. I'm here. Yep. Uh, we had uh, Multivania on Sunday. That was a lot of fun. I was joined on commentary by the one, the only Arkoff. Goomba swung by. Also had Connor jump in for a bit. Probanagayari. And we had Edward Bosco join my first side commentary as well. It was a lot of damn fun. It really was. Fantastic show. I was really happy with how it turned out. And it only crashed once. Yay. That's really good Ooh. for two. All right. All right. And Muscle Wizard, thank you for the sub. And that's it, Monty. It's time to party. Before we start, there's one more thing I just want to announce for mm. people who watch The Unexpectables. Um, I did post this on my Twitter as well as the Unexpectables Discord. Uh, for those of you who, who like the Bar Chopa, which is uh, Willow's familiar, also was the uh, War Mage's Vengeance that Borky wielded, mm -hmm. uh, that is now available on DM's Guild. That has officially been published with the help of uh, Jack Kaiser and Shahalem, one of our mods, as well as Battery Battery contributing some art, and uh, Citric King, who did some logo design as well. So that is now available. Uh, on DM's Guild, it's like a dollar, um, and it's also, I think, name what you want as well. Like, you can pay however much you want, minimum a dollar. So if you guys want, you can head over there, and you can you can pick that up, and you can run in your own games. So I just figured I'd mention that, because I forgot well, to. Do you want to tell them what is suggested alongside <laughs> Oh, my God. The fucking totem you of the pigeon you <laughs> barbarian. You can't, so, yeah. That was the first thing that was, like, suggested there after I, it was actually announced. But yeah, if you guys want that, it's, it's you know, you can use it for games or whatever, um, mostly for, like, Warlocks and, and anybody, like, any sort of, like, um, I think Divination Wizard, I think. I can't remember, but it's uh, the, pretty cool. You, you, they want you to repeat you Totem of the what? Totem of the totem what? Of the <sighs> totem of the fucking pigeon. <laughs> One of the rules is your character's head bobs like a pigeon. Yeah, yeah. and you have advantage to find food. <laughs> You can shit on people. That, yeah, your, you your level 16 is shitting on people. Oh yeah. my god. So dumb. Anyway, speaking of shitting on people, you guys did some good job. So let's let's get into it. Oh. Alrighty. As in you beat them up. Come on, Gaijin. Look, I can't tell with you. You've been si <laughs> Money, you've been sassy all week. Okay, I know, I've been pretty sassy. To, uh, all so right. I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to turn on uh, the uh, Ewok celebration music now, right? No, I have, I have music. Don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> all right. 
When last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Remy the Kenku Fighter, a newfound friend of Zenrio the Triton Sorcerer, and Task the Ex-Brontosaurus, the party was triumphant, striking true against the United Clergy. The party raided the camp, taking out the east side, seducing, suggesting, and striking true. The party called forth their orc allies and raised havoc on the coastline. After successfully capturing the warehouse, the party airdropped two polymorph brontosauruses, Kiwisaurus and Taskosaurus, trampled the paladins, while the remaining were struck down by the rest of the unexpectables. It was with the party coming together that the final blow rendered Aftar cold and dead. A mysterious death, though, shrouded in a dusty mycelium-like ooze that dissipated to any touch. After chucking the corpse aside and mounting the head on a pike, the party found rewards and clues littered in Aftar's tent and shrine. As the dusk rears its head, all the allies, orc, clerics, and creatures alike, take a moment of rest and of celebration. I will say before we start, I did echo during the introduction, so yeah, someone I heard that is too. echoing. Um... Oh, it's Zito. Uh, I think that's Zito. It is on your end, Zito. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Weird. Hello? Uh, hello. Hello. Okay. Now? Okay, it's I think we're good. Now. Weird. Yeah. All right. Bizarre. <laughs> okay. So you guys stand on the coastline. You see now a lot of the orcs now. They, they've doubled in number now. There are now double the amount of orcs you guys remember there being. Um, you didn't really get to know a lot of them specifically, so you're like, you don't know which ones are the ones that you guys managed to, like, recapture, and which ones are the ones that you managed to, like, you knew beforehand. That's a lot of orcs. Yeah. Are you, you saying that all orcs look alike? I mean, people said that about kobolds at least That's four true. times in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> they do, though. <laughs> Right, quick question: Are we in the uh, Orin clergy's uh, destroyed camp? Oh yeah, oh, we're you partying the there. Yeah, the orcs are moving in. They're like, mm -hmm. this is perfect. There's walls now. There's buildings. Oh, that's true. I hate to be a stick in the mud, but uh, they have another ship that could attack from the sea. Is that not something we should worry about? They don't They're have their leader anymore. They're completely disorganized. No, okay. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. Like they still have a ship. Yeah, you know what? That makes me wonder. Do they have any ballistas or anything like that on the walls? They don't. No. Okay, or like the, harpoon guns. The the walls that they had built were they're pretty sturdy. Like they are 100 percent. Like they could stop like a small militia like you guys. Um, with except for the aurochs, they couldn't more, stop that. But they were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's all good. Um, they weren't, like, the actual, like, places where, like, the guards were standing. You look at it, and, like, you, you're able to discern that, I mean, especially Panic, since you built a stage the one time, you're able to discern that they it wouldn't be strong enough to hold something like that up. So. I do have one more housekeeping question, as opposed <laughs> to, like, the before we can celebrate. What the fuck's gonna happen with all those sea lions that are angry and rabid sitting on the shoreline? They stopped. Oh, the, the, the druid? They stopped, because the druid has been freed. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, they're, they're all right. they're all chill okay. now, dude. All right, another, yeah. oh. just another. <laughs> you guys, you guys didn't yeah. take the the uh, the eastern side, so that was dealt with by, by Gruel. Okay. You you do notice Gruel has been messed up. He's got like sixteen arrows coming out of his side on one side. Those... He's got like bike and claw marks all over him, but he's been obviously tended to, so he's fine, and he's just keeping the arrows in, probably just to show off. Oh. But he's Those fought. Get infected. <laughs> yeah, you and Audrey share the same concern. But he's like, no, they're battle scars. And he's like going back to talking with his brethren. Task all pulls off his fucking armor and shows his scar ridden arm. No, this is a battle scar. That's stupid. Hey, that's really kick ass. But <laughs> Audrey, take him out. And she's just like, okay. She just kind of rolls her eyes and walks over and just starts pulling them out. Are we showing off our scars? Yeah, I gave him that one. I know about. I gave him that one. You did that? Yeah, I did. Oh, I see. He must have uh, came into your village and uh, shown <laughs> you the, the power of the orcs. <laughs> Borky, like, actually thinks about what actually happened. Borky doesn't really remember. Maybe. <laughs> Panic narrows his eyes. Panic remembers exactly what happened. <laughs> all I remember is he got in my way. It's all I really remember. Oh, that seems to happen a lot with never. us. Never get in an orc's way. Yeah. 
Uh, Borky well, is... they're starting to pitch up a, a bonfire, so probably get started too. I am going to ask a thing of you, though, Red One. and turns down to you, Taz. Oh, yes. The dragon that we captured, I think it would make for a fitting celebration feast. But I know you share the same tongue, so... Kill it. Very well. And you just you will see, you, We will see it dead. It actually knows too much information that it is far too dangerous to be left alive. Fair enough. If you don't mind, I wouldn't mind the head to mount on my throne. As long as you supply me with a bit of its hide. I'm trying to turn to the druid. You now see there's two druids. There's Shuga, who's very old, and a younger druid who you... Looks like maybe her daughter? She's mm. kind of older as well, but definitely not, like... Meh. She's like in her late thirties. Yeah. yeah, for and for an orc that's which is ancient for an old, orc. <laughs> uh, honestly, to give a comparison, she looks like maybe Helga's age. Okay. Yeah. Um, and like Gruel kind of turns over and they speak Orcish to each other. And Borky, you know, it's basically like, oh, go fetch the thing that's there. And she's like, don't tell me what to do. And he's like, please. And she's like, fine. And she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually got some relatively sass to polite her. for an orc conversation, truthfully. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so like, don't tell me what to do. And he's like, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, she goes. Uh, Shuga uh, walks up to you all and kind of like gently kind of pats you on the cheek. She's like, hey. <laughs> she kind of like smudges off your guys' war paint because now you don't need it. And and smudges I, I, it all I feel off. Like this is like soccer bobbing. Can like, I, we're, we're like little kids. <laughs> can, I, can I keep mine? She walks up to you, Zenryo, and she stares at you. And like, despite her eyes, you can't even see her eyes through the wrinkles. Uh -huh. Somehow, yet, she squints her eyes even further when she looks at you. <laughs> she goes, hmm. Hey. And she kind of hobbles away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Guys, I'll be honest. I've never. What does dragon taste like? Because, like, should I get a leg, a wing, or should I get some of the savory breast? We we ate dragon before, Borky. Did we? Yeah, you guys ate freaking what was his yeah. name? Remember Ar Arctanos? Well, no, that was Ar a black Ar dragon. What's a red dragon taste like? Fire. Probably the same. I so would we... assume it'd be a little bit more spicy. Ah, yeah, like like task. That's unsettling, Borky. Mm, shifty eyes, shifty eyes. <laughs> yeah, Tash just looks at him, just like that's unsettling. Well, I might like your personality spicy. Mm, fair. <laughs> if I may, gentlemen. Yes. Why are we killing this dragon? <sighs> Food. No, there's more to it. It knows about us. It knows about Darkus. And if this thing was to be let go. It would just cause more havoc or return to its master with information. Yeah. What kind Gruul... of information? What? Gruul seems pretty like... set on killing this thing too. Like it doesn't seem like something he's willing to give up. He kind of considers it considers it his. Yeah. By offering to give you some time, it's just like, do you want any more information out of this thing before I kill it? Because he seems no, pretty I... dead set on having a throne with a dragon skull. I mean, he's an orc. That's what he wants. Yeah. The only the only way we were able to get any information out of it was with the help of Zenryo's magic, and I don't believe that's going to work a second time. I already know of what Darkus's plans are for conquest, and I know his next movement. The dragon's not useful to us, Remy. It's better off dead. Yeah, you know Remy from your experience. Like red dragons, they're nasty. They're not. They're not good. They I are. Mean... Silver, so like metallic dragons can be good natured, and there's been some stories of some chromatic dragons being good natured. But I mean, a dragon cult dragon suggests where their kind of their values lie. So well, I asked him to be cool, and he wasn't cool. So chances are, even if we let him go, he's not going to be cool. He's going to set this entire place to the ground with fire. Prefer if he didn't do that, Grill says. By the way, um, beyond the dragon, we found some really weird dogs. What kind of dogs? What? Like really tall ones. Here, I'll show you. And he kind of juts his hand over. <clears throat> and birds that don't fly. What? Uh, he leaves you guys uh, over. These are to also the... dogs. What? Dragon. Really? Yeah. Yeah, birds that didn't fly. Those are dogs too, right? So Gruul slowly turns and looks to both Remy and Greggles. Yeah, I mean, we have two birds that don't fly, and I don't think they're dogs. Wait, well, yeah, they're my dogs. Yeah. yeah some say I'm one fly. stone could uh... kill them both. Well, you guys either are way. Too much fun at our expense. 
as you guys turn the corner with Gruel, you do see a um, a enclosure with horses, like six horses. Oh, oh. they're horses. And then these are the weird birds. You watch as Gruel just reaches down and just grabs a chicken, and the chicken's like, ah! and he's just holding okay. it in his hands. You want to like... you want to keep those because every day you, you, they, they they lay this sting. It's called an egg, and they're delicious. They produce food. It's better for animal husbandry. Or why? Why do the animals need husbands? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Tasman. <laughs> why don't they call it animal wifery? That's oh, true. Get safe. Asking the real questions there, Zendrio. It's what I'm thinking. I, I'm going to say this. Task, roll a, um, either a survival or a nature of your choice. Uh, with Monty, you're, you're staticking. <laughs> Am I static? A little bit. Give me two seconds here. On, on your end, I think. I don't, I'm, yeah. It's not happening on my end. Hello? Am oh, I technology. Hello. Yep. You're fine. Kurt? Mm -hmm. yep. Sound okay, Kurt? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that must have been a hiccup. Check your recording. Right, I just go. checked it and it's fine. Oh, oh that's right. 20. Yeah, oh, nice. good grief. You sit gruel down <laughs> with a piece of paper <laughs> and like a, like a piece of charcoal and you explain to him how to breed and raise chickens. That's and he it. understands. It's like, so wow. wait, you don't kill them all and just eat them. You actually make them reproduce and then you eat them later. Yes. And you eat the eggs that they... Man. Yes, but you leave... You leave the other eggs uh, to be... You leave the other eggs to be fertilized so they could grow into more powerful chickens and serve you better in the future. Powerful chickens. He lo the, when the moment you chicken. say powerful chickens, he's like, yeah. I knew that exactly he would like that. That's why you, I fucking said it. You, he brings the chicken to his face. You will be powerful. <laughs> just tosses it. It just kind of bounces on the ground. Excellent. Good. We will begin this husband and wife thing immediately with these animals. As for the dogs, though. As for the dogs, though, and he looks at the horses. Those are horses, buddy. Yeah, he shrugs and he looks at you. you what kind of dog? Them. You or them. or like, you could use them as beasts of burden. See, or you could befriend them. Mm, he narrows his eyes at that last one. Or you similar could... to the similar to the aurochs, then. Yes. Yeah. Just less cool looking. Well, I mean, it all depends on your point of view. I think they're both cool looking in different ways. Fair enough. We will try and husband and wife these as well. Well, all right. Uh, the armory we will keep as well. Whatever tr trophies you've earned killing that, uh, that elf is yours to keep. No okay. interest in the nonsense of weird... I don't even know what he was. Pain in the ass more than anything. Borky just kind of <laughs> looks over at a pile of like the armor of him that Borky's like stacked up with the shield. Yeah, his, at this point, all of his being is gone. Is it just melted, bubbled away? No, the moment you guys touch it, it disappears. The moment anything touches it, it disappears. Yeah, by the oh, way, we think was up with that yeah. anyways. Like, I, I mean, like, people die, like, slowly, but when I killed him, it's like, it's like he was, what's the best way to describe it? It's like he was butter in a hot pan. I feel like our benefactor back in Alavast would have a better understanding of what's going on. I will wager one thing. It doesn't seem like Oren's doing. No, a not lot at of all. This, a lot of this doesn't seem like Oren's doing. Man, is it, it's going to suck when we find out that all of these Oren folk are just misunderstood because they're being puppeted, and then we have to have the sense of morality and be like, wow, we've been killing the wrong people this whole time. Wouldn't that suck? Uh, is that in or out of character? Both! Uh, Greckles will actually narrow his eyes really hard at that. And actually... He's, he's gonna saunter away. Great and bad things have been done by any god. Gruel kind of rolls his eyes. Ah, the nature god will praise the birth of a bear and then the destruction the bear causes. There's a balance in all things. Mm. The sun brings solace and warmth, but also heat and pain. As is all things. Well, now is the time we celebrate just for that fleeting moment. Yes, I could use a drink. Okay. You, you guys drinking? go to turn. Porky has a mug already. <laughs> they uh, just appears. As you, 
there's a bonfire now in the middle of this entire encampment now. Um, and there's people are dancing, they're playing instruments. Uh, there are two forms you see that are tied together, two prisoners. Um, you see Lionel, who has his arm horrendously broken uh, from being crushed by a brontosaurus. Um, the other person you see is Tom, who just is kind of looking at everything Aww. and it's just kind of like, mm-hmm. Tom. 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 Tom's uh, a job right now. Yeah, Tom <laughs> is literally work. looking. Tom is literally <laughs> looking at like, like, hmm. It's time to follow my dreams again. <laughs> How did he survive? He can just I, walked away. Can I? Can I go talk to Tom? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Where did you say they were tied up, Monty? Uh, they're near the bonfire. Like, no one's really like. They're just kind of amongst everybody, and like, they're they're tied up pretty tightly. They're not being mistreated. In fact, some of the uh, some of the orcs are like kind of offering like Leonel in particular here have a drink and they're like splashing him with some ale and they're like join in the festivities you loser <laughs> like it's <laughs> it's really <laughs> awful but at the same time they're not like punching or beating them up they're just kind of uh, like rubbing the victory as, as Zenrio walks over to Tom uh Remy's gonna do the same but to Lionel okay we'll start with and, Zenrio first yeah go for it then Zenrio as you walk up to Tom he just kind of blinks and looks up at you hey uh what's up dude how's it going how's it going uh, okay so um I I know that it might seem really scary. You know, you're out of a job. And no, where am I going to live? What am I going to eat? But I got to tell you, the world out there is so big and there's so many opportunities for somebody of your skill set. And I think you could be really great at no matter what you put your mind to. And you might think, oh no, I'm a screw up. I can't do anything right. I suck at this. Uh, this, this is terrible. But the thing is, See, you start out bad at something, and then you get better at it, right? It just takes dedication and believing. And I, like, put my, my finger out, and I, like, tap the middle of his chest. Believing in yourself. He blinks Porky. once and looks up at you. Porky just sips his beer. Mm -hmm. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> uh, okay. Persuasion. 17. Okay. Uh, oh, let me grab my dice here. <laughs> he starts to cry. Oh. <laughs> it's like, no one's ever told me that before. They're always like, Tom, why'd you set the house on fire? Tom, that's not how you put on horse shoots. That's a goat. I, I'm trying, you know? I'm really trying. I you know. Are... I feel you. I feel you, bro. I yeah. know. I Sometimes you just need that little push. You know, you just need a little push, right? Yeah. yeah. I felt a really weird push, by the way. Like, a, I was under a magical influence. Like, someone was telling me to do something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that was your your conscience. Yeah. <laughs> Roll deception check. <laughs> 20. Nice. 20, oh, jeez. Oh, right, yeah, you're a sorcerer, Charisma. That's yep. right. Yep. Mm -hmm. He looks it down at the ground and goes, Jeez, my conscience is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, sometimes your conscience tells you things that you might think are a bad idea. Um, but if you really believe it's the right thing to do, then you gotta listen to your heart, you know? You gotta believe that your conscience is right. Yeah, well, my conscience told me to go to the wall. I didn't want to, and then I showed up, and my conscience was like, eh, just stand there. And I was like, I guess I'll just stand here. And then the orcs tied me up, and, you know... Apparently I'm a prisoner now, but I mean, benefits sound good. I got my own place to live and food, I guess, as long as I uh, take care of their... Uh, he kind of looks over to the Aurochs. Horses? I don't know. Yeah, they're like a weird kind of dog, I don't know. But anyway, so, like, if you... If you just, you know, do your best, who knows? Maybe you'll have your own village someday. Your own town. You could be a leader, Tom, if you just believe in yourself. Okay, roll another persuasion check. Why can't I have, a, like, more friends like Zed? <laughs> 20. <laughs> yeah. He looks at you. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to talk to that orc chief in. I'm going to ask for an internship. Yeah. What? See? There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's the first step, Tom. I believe in you. I know you can do this. I'm your prisoner. Can I have an internship? That's a fucking 180 <laughs> if I ever heard it. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know what? He'll admire your... your uh, your gumption and your, uh, uh, 
motivation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. What was your yeah. name? Oh, my name is Zenria, but you can call me Zen. Thanks, Zen. Ah, no problem, dude. Wait, are his hands tied up? Can I give him a high five? Yeah. Can no, I, like, his go, are, his can I, like really... go around to the back where his hands are tied up and kind of like yeah. look on his hand? High five his face if you really want to. I'm just going to like, like, like lightly put my hand on his face and sort of pat his face and be like, all right. He nods. He's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So when is Zen's next TED talk? <laughs> right? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> or like Tom talk. Tom talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, as this kind of ends, uh, <laughs> Remy, you approach uh, Lionel, who's just kind of like, he looks the most sullen at the moment. He doesn't look distraught. He's just kind of like, he's like Audrey when Audrey was taken from the camp. Just like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, Remy's going to walk over to him. He'll have the visor on the, the paladin armor down for now and walk over there with a hole now perfectly in the chest to match the one on the back. And it's bloody. Um, <clears throat> you... You're the one from the boat and the camp. He looks up to you, not recognizing you. And he's going to open the visor and show his face. Your beak pops out. Oh, you, prisoner. Yes. I you believe we need to finish a conversation. Uh, you notice close to him now. Um, his armor's like almost the same. There's one difference, though. Okay. Uh, pretty like crudely pounded into one of the armor uh, piece of the armor is like a weird um, like piece of red and bronze. Okay. Um, some sort of some sort of symbol of some kind. <coughs> Almost like an upside down tear with like a line kind of trailing down. The armor you wear is different from what I don. Why? Yes. I'm a bleeding heart. So they marked you as one. Yes, my cleric's gone. Yes, that's the conversation we needed to finish. It's a conversation I need to finish with him. He juts ahead towards Panic, who is... Panic, what are you doing at this point in time? Drinking. <laughs> yeah, like some female orcs, like you're like... And then you're telling a joke, and the female orcs are just kind of like giving I'm, you like an arm's are length. The, like... Are the clerics around? Uh, the clerics are around, yes. I'm regaling a few of them with the tale of Helena versus Tiengo the Red Death. So then, right, Tiengo comes out of nowhere and Helena sees him. And then he says, like, the worst thing I have ever heard him say to a woman. And Helena started freaking out. She screamed louder than I've ever heard anyone scream and sensed the Red Death fleeing in terror. Roll a persuasion check. Fourteen? They look to each other and they go, Helena's not like that. She didn't do that. <laughs> Trust me. She is a lot different from from when from when you saw her. And they call it kind of look to they're very skeptical. They're all like looking and they're like they're like, that didn't happen. That's not real. There's no way. Hey! <laughs> Let's not let. They're not. They're the... not doing it in like a mean way. Like you're a big liar, pants. So they're just like mm, doubt. Listen, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. So it is a lie then. I to fudge some details. Uh huh. Borky walks do I, past. Do I... Borky walks Remy. past. We were in a sewer though. Borky. Uh, you turned back, Remy, to the the paladin, who's kind of looks back to you after that. Kinda yes. Stares at you. I happen to know of her as well, actually. I was told she was kidnapped by people in that city. No, she wasn't kidnapped. From my understanding, she was left behind. And she's still there. Working. Fitting in. She probably misses me. I do not doubt that. She'd probably like to see you again. He just kind of goes into silence. He seems pretty dejected at the moment, so he probably doesn't want to talk any further. He's kind of thinking. Look, for what it's worth, I will speak with Ghoul, and I will see about reuniting you with your cleric. And then Remy's going to take off and put his helmet back down. 
you put it in front of him and he just kind of stares at it. He's young too, probably. You all the different paladins you see have ranged anywhere between like twenty to maybe twenty seven ish. Like they're like younger. Um, he looks the, probably the youngest. He looks maybe like twenty one, twenty two, maybe. Um, definitely has a bit of a baby face as well. Um, and like short blonde hair kind of spiked all over the place. Very, he seems nice enough. Like he's, he doesn't have the disposition of cruelty that some of the other paladins had. He seems kind of just like there for the most part. Uh, Greckles, you approach uh, some of the clerics as they're kind of like churning away from panic story at this point. They're just kind of like, I don't think so, no. And they uh, come on. <laughs> panic. Just uh, hmm? let me, let me take it from here, buddy. All right, whatever you say. Are all five of them there? Yeah. Except for Audrey. Audrey is currently still pulling arrows out of Gruel at the moment. <laughs> and then uh, you watch as Gruel just kind of like grabs an arrow. Just, Don't you put that back in. He's like, oh, sorry, okay, fine. <laughs> I... I need to go talk with someone, and I'd like for you four to accompany if that's all right. They all kind of look to each other. Um, what <laughs> Maria, uh, who is the timid one, is currently holding a giant tankard at the moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> she turns you. She is smashed already. That's fine. Gre Greckles, Greckles um, pulls out from under underneath his armor and robe the uh, the older holy symbol of Orin, <laughs> in, in indicating that yeah, this, that's what this is about. During sundown. Maybe not. I, I had a thought, and I don't know if it would work, but well, maybe there is a place we could get some sun. Speak your mind. When we went back through, digging through the hoard, and, and Greckles remembers all of the tickets and just shudders uh, at that yeah. thought, we actually found a sun blade. Oh, I, yes, that's Actars. I figured that might actually be a source of light and even maybe maybe at night. Gre Greckles is very flustered. Like he's tripping so hard on what he's trying to get out. You want to keep it? Not necessarily. I mean, I thought maybe it could act as a Maybe as some kind of connection between us and Orin or, or Solar. There's, I have so many questions. I wish we had more answers for you. Well, I thought maybe it could act as some kind of conduit. It can. Uh, you watch as it's Honore who's talking to you. She kind of leans mm -hmm. down to you because she's quite tall and you're a little bit shorter. Um, right. She leans down on one knee and she rests a hand on your shoulder and she goes, If you want to seek Orin, we could tell you everything we know, but I honestly think we've been taught wrong. Then would you like to join me? Maybe we all could get some better answers. Hanore turns to Kendra, and there's kind of this, like, not like a bad silence, but there's kind of this contemplative silence. The country man goes, we actually want to stay here. At least myself and Kendra. Well, that's more than fine. I just yeah. wanted to extend the... Yeah. Maria's gonna stay here too. Um, we're not sure about Audrey. And um Evelina. And Evelina at this point is like bashing a drum. She's like having a time. She's like, Whoa! like these girls yeah! are letting loose. They are Weird. letting loose. Uh she's going wild. Um she got turns goes, Evelina actually has an uncle who lives in Alabas, we found out. Oh. And he owns a temple there to Orin. He's what we would call an eclipsed worshiper, but I guess now we're all eclipsed worshippers now. Um, basically, um, non-united clergy Orin worshippers. I'm Plus, going to you mentioned you were friends but... with Soliandris, and I mean, <laughs> her father Solar. I, I mean. Soliandris is actually the one who set me down this path, I think. Oh, I see. Well, definitely take her the Sunblade. She might be able to help, I don't know, unlock it. 
All we know is it's usually part of a prayer, but even then it's Aftar who seems to reap the rewards from it. Right, so for all we know, it could be maybe tainted? Well, a true worshiper of Orin would probably be able to tell you. Or Soliandris, or Solar. Um, regardless, I, I'd like to give it a shot. Of course. And um, whenever we can get around to it, Greckles needs to go have a prayer. Okay. Before you walk off, Honore kind of like brings you in and she gives you a big hug. Greckles, uh, Greckles are hug, hugger, hugger, right? Like, just like he's hugging Sully. Thank you. Th for everything. You're, you're most welcome. Thank you for opening my eyes to see that things aren't as black and white as yeah. they seem to be. There are cool people in Periton, though. Don't lower your guard. I won't. Hey, Kendra. She kind of turns over, and Kendra's like eating, like what looks like they looks like they've broken into some of the rations in the warehouse, and she's like eating like a like a like a ham, huh? Um, I want to walk. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. And she kind of walks over, and the two of them exit at this point. Nice. Kind of bumping into each other, and she's like, "You're making me drop my ham." <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you get the you get the sense with their relationship, they probably easily started off as like really good friends, and then it kind of evolved from there. Mm-hmm. You understand why they're pretty close. Uh, that leaves the other three. Maria is just like, like just drinking. She's just like standing with like her arms outside, her shoulders are up, and she's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> kind of just looking around. Uh, hey, Audrey, I bet you'd like to hear a story. Mm, she kind of looks up to you. Let me tell you about the story of Helna versus a big scary devil guy. <laughs> I was literally right there. Really? Yeah. Bor Borky Shit. walks past, just sipping his drink. Oh, she's telling him one about that, and Borky just taps him with the where the scar is. Borky keeps walking. Ah, yes. About the time I was struck by a spear, blessed by the lightning god himself. I... Gather around, stay a while. And... <laughs> she like looks around, and she's oh, like, "A man after okay. my own heart." A couple of the orcs gather around too. At least the ones that can speak common, they kind of sit around you. I'm fudging the details of this one too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Roll a performance check to see. This is going to be a very easy save because she is very drunk. Performance? Yeah, performance. You're, you're regaling a story with the intention to entertain, so. 28. 28. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck would she say? Yeah, as you're telling the story midway, she like takes her hand and she like rests it on your chest and she goes, You are a legend. I don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Uh, trust me, I fucking know, but thank you, you look in the mirror and uh -huh. you say, You know what me? I'm cool and I can do I can do anything I want. Anything. She drinks more of her alcohol. <laughs> you got it, sure. As you guys are doing this, eventually the dragon is dragged in. It's uh, like a fish. Its neck has been cut to bleed it out. <clears throat> um, and you watch as all the hunters of this tribe just like instantly start pulling out various different like sea salt and things like that, that they have berries and things and just start cramming. Like they start slicing and shoving things into where they slice. Uh, the wings are taken off the body and they're like, it's just like, um, grilled over the fire, like just by itself, and then pieces of the membrane are snapped off, like almost like dried, like almost like pork rinds. Yeah, yeah. And handed out to people, and it's just the 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 um the black dragon's taste had a lot more of a um kind of like a bit of a caustic sort of flavoring to it. Right, like, acidic. Oh, yeah, like a little bit of like an acidic sort of flavor, like almost like it was in like in t like tomato or something like that sort of flavor the um the red dragon isn't spicy um it's actually like pretty tough but like not in a um not in like like a like a chewy sort of way but in like a when it cooks it takes a while for it to cook and it's very like jerky-esque like every piece of meat has the consistency of jerky but the taste of like other cuts of meat because it requires so much time to cook because it's a fire-breathing dragon i am all over this let's go 
Mm. Yeah, you guys slice into it. Gruel takes the uh, the head and kind of just leaves it in the corner of the wood to be eaten away by, you know, insects and whatnot. Um, the tail is cut into steaks and, like, fried. The uh, spines and the... And the um, the spines and the talons and the, the and the teeth are given to the druids. They immediately take that stuff. Um, unfortunately, they're very strong about keep that. This is not something they get very often, so they're very adamant about keeping that. But beyond that, you guys begin to eat, you begin to revel, panic. You pull out the guitar and match with the war drums of the orcs. It's just a good time for everybody. And then eventually, the grouse rounds itself. Oh boy. And the sounds of the drums begin to boom, 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 and immediately, like it's almost like it's it's like a race to the other side. So many people are getting up and fighting. It's like the moment the drums start, everyone just starts punching each other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Though it is a one at a time affair. Um, at the point, like at, once it starts kicking off, like so many orcs start disappearing. Like so many people are disappearing at this point into various different tents and things like that after these different fights go on. Um, you watch as, um, Shuga is just, like, eating berries and stuff. She can't seem to eat the meat. Um, <laughs> and you also notice that the other druid now has one of these sea lions next to her, and she's kind of, like, tossing it chunks of some of the raw dragon kind of ripped from the neck of where the head is. She's kind of just, like, tossing a piece. It's not, like, a sea lion, like the animal. It is literally a, a lion of the sea. It, where it would have a mane, instead it has fins. Is it a lion? Um, what the it, fuck? Yeah, it's like it's it's like it looks like a lion. Where so, it would have hair, it would it has fins instead. It has front claws and webs. We yeah, it's like piece a piece now, boys. Yeah, it's like a giant buff vaporeon. But the back end of it is like a fish. So it actually has like this huh. tail, Sounds and like it good. seems to kind of move like a sea lion, like with just using the front paws and like kind of hoisting it up onto land. You mean do? Yeah, it's it's part lion and it's part fish and it's it's currently resting next to the fire oh my god yeah. is this is this an avatar character <laughs> or an avatar the airplane the lion fish yeah <laughs> yeah she's kind of absent lionly it's just chucking at meat and like the people are reveling and, and having a good time what do you guys want to do uh how many berries does shuga have uh it looks like she's got like a handful and she's just like yeah She's like tossing them into her mouth, like just with like, you get the sense it's a habit of hers, just eating the oh berries, kind of like crushing them and then swallowing. Uh, Remy, since he's not hungry, is not going to touch the dragon. He's going to go try to find Audrey, wherever the hell she is. Uh, she's sitting uh, near the fire at the okay, moment. She's, go... she's eating um, she's eating part of the wing and she seems to really enjoy it. She's like, hmm, like looking down at it, like, I should like this, but this is pretty good. He will go take a seat next to her. Hey, who's sitting next to Gruel? I assume Borky. Yeah, Borky's just sitting there okay. watching the revelry. Yeah, you are, as you as you see you see Remy sit down next to Audrey, and immediately you feel like a hand just like slap 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 against your chest. You see Gruel just like just staring, like clenching his jaw, like, mm. like look, look, look. <laughs> is, is he doing this to Borky? Yeah, he's doing it to you. Oh. Well. It might not be the only ship that sails from this town today. <laughs> Where he drinks his drink. <laughs> he kind of nudges you. Remy, what are you doing? Christ. I'm going to sit down next to Audrey and see how she's doing. She seems to kind of be in thought at the moment. Okay. Kind of like eating and also kind of thinking. Oh, hey, Remy. Hello. Seems we made it out alive. <laughs> we did. Much to Gruel's attempts. He definitely has a way of running into danger. Yes. How are you holding up? I'm good. I'm I'm really good actually. I'm I'm a, a few wounds here and there, but nothing nothing major. How are you? He's gonna look down at the hole in his chest. Ugh, I'm fine. Ooh. Do you need me to? Uh, no, it's it's fine. Enjoy your I'm food. I'm pretty spent, to be honest. It, but I, you're you're fine. I just wanted to make sure you were doing all right. I. Attempted to yeah. talk to your paladin friend on this pole. Um, oh, you know? Yes. He's not in a very talkative mood. Understandably no. so. He's pretty mournful, to be honest with you. Mournful of what, exactly? Losing his cleric. 
Yes, he um, approached me about it while I was tied up in your camp. Well, this camp. It's dishonor, I guess. I don't know. Did you know Helena at all? Um, I didn't, but I think the others might have. Very nice girl. She's really pretty. That's all I know. She's really, really pretty. I, I believe Panic also recognized the photo that he had. Uh, perhaps he should speak with Leanna when he has an opportunity. <laughs> Looking she over at panic, panic, he's just... <laughs> Panic's like, yeah! <laughs> Man, there's a, there's a lot of people fighting right now. This is great! <laughs> Yeah, like two orchards. Like you were literally like five inches away from where they're like punching each other, and you're like, "Whoa!" It's like they're really yeah. coming right Sign. at me. Sign my face. <laughs> Bunch. Audrey, typically, from what I've seen, the clerics and the paladins don't get along, but he seems to have more empathy than any of the others. Sometimes they do get along. Do you know if he and Helena did? I mean, she kind of puts down her her meal on her lap, and she goes. It's... Complicated? Well, not really complicated. It's just saying it out loud makes it weird, you know? We're raised in a, a temple to be clerics. I mean, that's... She kind of, like, waves to her attire, and she's like, duh. <laughs> and then paladins are raised in other temples to be paladins. Usually there's, like, a sister and brother temple, and then once we reach certain ages then we are basically fit together I guess like we're chosen to get married and we're chosen to be partners and we're chosen to battle together and we're chosen to die together based off of what the clergy would think you know what the clergy thinks would work the best and so if they were to become close to each other that would be considered a bad thing what the paladins and the clerics would be close to each other well, in a way that's not necessarily appropriate. Well, yeah, they want us to have children. In fact, they give us a list of how many we're supposed to have. Really? Yeah. I have two. And she points to Maria. Maria was supposed to have five. And she points to uh, Evelina. One for Evelina, because she's a loose cannon. <laughs> I see. Evelina's like, is like playing the drum now with like the legs of the dragon. It's really <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Blood's getting everywhere, but the orcs are loving it. Well, I can't say I'm a stranger to arranged marriages. They have no. their purpose. Some of the paladins, the clerics, make it work. And sometimes it doesn't. Well, I thank you for your insight. I'm still quite ignorant of your ways. Be ignorant. I suppose ignorance can be bliss sometimes. It is right now. She eats a bite, like a big chunk of the dragon wing. This is really good. <laughs> you enjoy really your good. food. Uh, if you need anything, come find me. <clears throat> if you need anything, come find me. She kind of looks at you concerned, but I'm going your way. I've had worse. And then he's gonna take off. Yeah, you kind of hobble off. Yep. Girl, girl, kind of watches uh, Remy leave. And he, uh, as you leave, actually, Remy, you notice Helena, like, or Helena, pfft, Audrey, wow, you guys make me think about Helena. Um, you watch as Audrey, like, immediately after leaving, she kind of goes back into this, this thought, like, uh, roll an insight check. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. Come on, baby. 17. 17, okay. Ooh, shit, girl rolled a two. Okay. Um, as you're kind of walking away, you notice her gaze kind of looking to all those arrows that she pulled out of Gruel, and she seems like kind of, she's definitely deep in thought and something's bothering her, but you can't really get a sense. It's not like a bad thing, but it's just kind of like, like it's kind of like, you know, choosing between like, you know, is this better or is this better? That sort of thing. I see. Kind of um, I will make a note of that and let her contemplate. Mostly because I want somebody else to have a turn. Who's next? Talk to people. Kiwi's like eating a whole like lot of steak. 
And the orc's like, eat, eat, eat. He's like, I can only eat so much. Is he double? Is his <laughs> My beak's really tiny. Does, is, 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 that, is his belly just twice the size? He's actually cooking the steaks on the frying pan. <laughs> He's is got it still covered in blood? <laughs> uh, no, he cleaned it. He, like, <laughs> simmered. After he stopped being a brontosaurus, he immediately simmered down. <laughs> that, that experience kind of knocked him into reality a little bit, ironically. All right, all right, your steak will come up next. And he's kind of like tossing steaks to the orcs that are just taking them by hand. They're like, ooh, ooh, like eating. It's a dragon to go around. It's almost like a giant pig in a way. Task is waiting over at the corpse, waiting for everyone to get their share and whatever's left to roll a survival check on. Okay. He did, he did not <laughs> kill... He didn't kill this dragon. He brought it down. The kill goes to them. So by law, it's going to be like... It's your kill. You eat first. I'll get what's left later. Yeah. In terms over of what, of the knife. <laughs> well, the, the skin, the skin has been set aside for you. Uh, there's not a lot of it. Um, it's a young dragon too, so a lot of it's not like armor like. A lot of it's like kind of like that soft, you know, like like bearded dragon underbelly sort of texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, that's, what, that's what's, still works. Yeah. Um, it's basically like about the size of like a a medium to small wolf pelt worth Sick. Of, of red dragon scales. Yeah, you could easily make like maybe boots or a gauntlet or like a hat out of it, but you probably couldn't make like pants or like a coat like panics out of it. That would require an adult. Oh no, that's fine. Like the hat and glove aspect, I was actually looking into that. Oh, perfect. Okay, there you are. All right, Rad. Uh, return back to the fire and consume steak. Tass doesn't do. really have anyone to talk to here at this point. Uh, yeah, you Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, can I can I go find Borky real quick? Yeah, Borky's, yeah, Borky's kind of wandered off. Roll. Borky's actually standing uh, by the beach, just drinking some beer. He's got Romfalt planted in the sand, just kind of standing there. Borky, what did I say about putting me in the ground? Yeah, I was trying to strike a nice pose, but fine, fine. Borky pulls it out. I am a giant of the sky, not of the sand. Hold me in the air forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't you're you're going to get a strap tired. or something. Borky, uh, <laughs> Borky kind of just, like, speaks to Ronfall. The fight against, uh... Wait, I wanted this almost an anthrax. Aftar. Aftar. This is all in your head, by the way, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. just making sure you're not talking the... out loud and giant to the ocean. <laughs> the fight against Aftar. Never fought someone as tough as him before. You fought well. Thought he had me there. <laughs> it was your orc resilience that saved you. <clears throat> your fury, but at the same time, your precision and your cunning. And your allies, most of all. I'm luckiest to have them, most of all. That is what makes a good leader. <clears throat> the people who are willing to follow you into death. Well, I'm glad they didn't have to die. There's more fights to happen. We ain't done with these, this clergy yet. Mm. We did worship the sun once, sky you, giants. You did? Before we all, well, before I came into the picture. Mm. The sun is a part of the sky, as are the clouds of Uspa. Mm. In truth, we worship the god of giants. Mm. You have to forgive me, I'm quite ignorant of what that is. What's the god of giants? The Allfather. That which dictates the way that giants are and live. It prevents us from warring against our brothers. Heed my words, Borky. I will never harm any of my brethren. If I am to fight an ogre, I cannot wield you. Ogres are dwarf. Ogres are giants? Hold on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, almost, oh. I flub flubbed it. Sorry. If I am to fight a giant in any point, I cannot wield you. No. So here's the downside to Ronfall. He does not deal damage to any giant creature. Okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, Alrighty. Interesting mm, ability. Yeah. Very well. Borky just kind of like, like closes his eyes and nods. Very well. Mm. Remy, at this point, you kind of walk up and you find Borky kind of nodding to himself, holding his sword up as if intentionally out of the sand. Uh, 
Speaking with your sword again. Bork kind of comes out of it a little bit. Oh. Yeah, but... Bork just takes a swig of his, uh, of his beer. Yeah, but just... Learning more and more about it, though. I take it you two are getting close? Uh, but... I mean, I think about it this way. When we first started on this little boat trip, and when we first fought the clergy, I, I swung wrong folk for all my strength and just bounced against the paladin's armor. And the entire adventure ends with me chopping both his uh, the, the champion's arms off and then his damn head. And then Borky kind of pulls the spear out of the sand, which was also next to him. And now I got this. A trophy. One of the first trophies I've ever got. Yeah, orcs tend to... Dask always likes to keep his trophies. I prefer to... Usually it was a thing my dad did, but... Eh. Yeah, maybe it's one good habit he has that I could follow. <laughs> Why are you joining me over here? Shouldn't you be off, uh, I don't know. Hanging out with that one cleric? You know, the... One you were captured with? Uh, yes, I already spoke with Audrey. She, um, was eating. I didn't want to take up too much of her time. I mean, makes sense. <clears throat> Crazy trip I we just... had. Hmm? No, go ahead, Borky. Crazy trip we had. That is an understatement if I've ever heard one. <clears throat> I just wanted to say congratulations and good job. You have not only bestowed your knowledge upon me, but you have grown into a fine leader, or at least you're well on your way. <sighs> Borky kind of just lets out a sigh and like shakes his head a little bit, like, it's not where I expected it going when I boarded that ship. But for what it's worth, I'll take those words to heart. Borky kind of just, just like pun punches him on the shoulder a little bit. <clears throat> Like it was no, it was playful. It was like, oh no, but he's very sore. Is that oh, you can tell how yeah. sore? I hit the black and blue. Sore so you, but like Remy still looks very sore. Oh. Um, uh, yes. Keep in mind, Borky. There are those of us that are born into greatness, and those of us that have it thrust upon us. And you have adapted well. And I have no doubt, when you meet the other three tribes, the results will be the same. Here's hope. Borky just kind of nods and thinks about it. Here's hoping. As you guys are standing there, um, what's your AC, Remy? Uh, 20. <laughs> Clank! You hear a clanking noise at your foot. I'm gonna look down at my foot. You see a crab. Oh. <gasps> Is it? Cr can I do an insight to see if it... If it, if it if I'm gonna... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, do your what's, inside what's, first. Remy? You don't notice it yet, Remy. What are you doing? I'm shooing it away with my foot. <laughs> kind of kick it. It's holding a bottle. And you knock it over. <laughs> it gets up. It's going to try and hit you again. Oh, shit. It's actually my hit. It's 20, you said? Yeah. That'll hit. That's a 20. It matches. Oh, my God. That's a strong-ass crab. Clutch his uh, leg off. <laughs> As you go, you lean down to go to shoot away with your talons, and it grabs your your middle talon and pinches horribly oh, for one point of what? damage. Oh, wow, what's going on? Oh, stupid. Remy's gonna pull out his sword. I know. Why, hold on. Do I see it? Yeah, you see Crabius the Mighty holding a bottle and also swinging by Bork Remy's Borky hand currently. Literally, like, like literally just shoves Remy out of the way. What are you doing? Or <laughs> <laughs> shoves him. Why? That's Crabius the Mighty. <laughs> What does a what? Borky, you just see you just see slowly like is the crab holding up the bottle? Uh, yeah, it's got it's an empty bottle. It's like a it's like a clear like there's a cork it. It's like a clear bottle. Borky, um, and it's it's like it's just holding it. Borky goes to clink the bottle with his stein of beer. <laughs> uh, Crabby is somebody eye stalks, looks to the bottle, and then looks up to you, and then scuttles off towards the party. Get crunk. I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the, the, like, the love pit where they fight. The grouse. Borky's, like, uh, Borky's been drinking. As you get. The love pit. 
Krabby is scuttled it. off. Taz, because you're sitting there, you're eating a piece of like, um, it's almost like the, the dragon's stomach. And it is really good. Oh, dude, yeah, stump uh, dragon haggis, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's like it's it's Dragus. really it's probably eaten Dragus. like like Dragus. goat. Yeah, you can taste it. some you can taste some goat, you can taste some pig, and you can taste like probably some chickens too. Oh, that's that chicken? Like, oh, that's human too. Hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 um as you're sitting there though, you notice a crab running like running up to you at like turbo speed with a bottle in its hand. And it pinches gently at your ankle. I mean, I, I hold my hand so it can get into my hand. Uh, Krabius climbs into your hand. I lift him up. Ah, Krabius then, yeah. He he, kind of thrusts the bottle towards you. I take it. Okay, you take it. It's empty. It's completely empty. Oh, uh, Task will first like shake the bottle as if something's supposed to come out of it. Complete silence. Uh, looks into it. How do you look into it? Like, just looking at it? or are you Like, like peering the through out? like a kaleidoscope. You can see through it. You can see the fire flickering. You can see the people dancing. Hmm. Uh, boy, I... Did I... Wait, okay, refresh my memory. Did I ask him to animal, uh, to animal message? We went back and we said that you did that because we forgot to do that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he went out and messaged for you guys. Okay, Brad. Uh, do what? What? What's the four one one on this bottle? Like, what does it look like? It looks like a uh, like a like a tiny like vinaigrette bottle. Like, it looks um, it's like a like a like a vinegar bottle you would find at like a like a, um, a restaurant or something. But it's got like a cork in it, and it's completely like it's white. It's like clear, see through glass. Uh, I will attempt one more thing before I ask Krabby to say anything. I put it to my ear. Okay. It sounds like glass. Alright, just like sound muffled through the glass. Alright, well, I look to Krabius and I go, am I supposed to put something in this? Krabius shakes its body. Like, yes or no? Like, no. No? Uh, hmm. And he sniffs eagerly. <clears throat> Fuck, okay. Uh, what's a drink? Do you, oh! It's got a, cor it's got a cork in it. I, oh, well, I was hoping to actually, like, you know, pull the cork out and see and look inside. Oh, okay, that's why I asked. I'm like, are you gonna, like, how are you gonna yeah, look Yeah, 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 no, that, that oh, okay. was the point. I was like, by kaleidoscope, he was gonna yeah, look through like a kaleidoscope. Oh, okay, 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 okay. As you go, you take the cork in your hand and you just poke, uh, pop it open. Immediately you hear a voice coming out of the bottle. It goes, I hear be a whisper from the quiet man. Wanted to thank ye for sending out a message via your little crab friend there. Thanks to us, that bitch Sinless Cascadia has been run out of town by the greaty mighty Leviathan Crab. Oh, Jesus. Thank you very much. Things will be a bit shifty here for a while. You might want to steer clear of Canary's Perch and head on back to that there city. We be thanking ye for your service, though. And tell Crabius I say hello. And it ends. You heard that, yes, I looked at Crabius. Crabius, like, like, snips. All right, well, apparently we did something favorable. At least this is something we can at least tell the guard back in Alavast when the time comes. Well, thank you for sending a message. I'm sorry that the message and where its destination had to go was vague and rushed, but thank you for the favor. Krabius seems to nod. If you look, as you look past Krabius, you see like a whole gaggle of orcs now going fight, fight, fight. As you see two other crabs now fighting in the grouse pit, yeah, <laughs> snipping yeah. each other. <laughs> Tash just looks down at him and just goes, "You want to watch?" Krabius kind of turns and shrugs and then scuttles off and kind of heads towards the ocean. Stops before hitting the water and gives you one little wave and then sploosh, disappears. I, I just salute back at him and continue eating my food. Godspeed. Crabbies. I will hold on to that bottle, though. Yeah. Uh, the crabs fight each other, and one of the crabs rips another one of the claws off the crab, and the orcs just Jesus. lose their shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, oh! oh my god! It's a crab battle! Crab battle! Crab battle! Crab battle! just yelling. Crab battle! Crab battle! Ole, 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 ole! Ole, ole, ole! How did you get this channel? Ole, ole, ole! 
All right, the crabs end their battle. Uh, one of the crabs scuttle. This crabs scuttle up to just. I think they scuttle up to a seagull or something, and then the seagull flies away, and they both look dejected. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oof. And then eventually, Gruel enters the center of the ring. He kind of starts pounding his chest. He's looking. He's skimming over, and he's looking for Remy. You can tell. You just know. Borky, so I don't know if I see him. What? Oh, Borky's rejoined at this point, so you probably would have followed him, I oh, okay. imagine. I'll yeah. walk back with Borky. I see him pounding his chest in the grouse. The moment you appear, he just like his head just like <laughs> looks, turns and locks to you as he's Terminator. Like, <laughs> yeah. Turns 75 degrees. <laughs> um, <laughs> as Remy walks into the center, I'd like to roll an insight check on the females that are around the pit. Okay. Uh, did it work? Natural Whoa. 20. Natural 20. Um, there is Shuga, there is the druid who has rejected everybody tonight. Um, okay. there is Evelina and Maria, but Maria's super drunk, so she's not allowed to, to do anything with the crowds. That's another <laughs> rule that they have. She is currently, like, crying into this, like, the one of the big, like, the big orcs who's just kind of staring deadpan forward, and she's like, and, my, and then they didn't even let me join, and I, and he's just like, Jesus, girl. Is he, is he, is he, is he doing the slow pad on the back of the tap? <laughs> yeah, he's like trying to be supportive, yeah. but he, he doesn't speak common. So he's like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and Evelina has found a new love for these drums. She is losing her shit right dun, dun, now. Dun, dun, like she's got dun, dun, four dun, dun, of them dun, dun, set up. Yeah. Um and then there's and then there's Audrey. And then there's like two other female orcs, but they don't seem part they they seem like they want to party and eat. They don't seem like they want to really do anything else. So what I'm asking is, does there seem like there's any potential bachelors or bachelorettes for gruel that would even I mean <laughs> I mean it's the same kind of selection. I mean, besides there's a few more that they got like came from the rest. That's what I'm asking. Because there's so many more females, do any of them look like they're even remotely interested in what's they're going on? They're watching the fights. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, then Remy will step in. <clears throat> All the male orcs cheer. They love your guys' fights. In honor of your victory, Gruel, I believe we should raise the stakes. Mm, very well. Borky! What? Wait. Borky just, like, just something done something his drink. What's up? You still have his horn weapon, yes? Just kind of looks at Gruel, looks back at Remy. Yeah, whoa, well, show it all. Give it to him. Blood match! Borky throws up his hands. <laughs> <laughs> and Borky, like, chucks the weapon, like, underhand, like, chucks the weapon at, uh... Oh, yeah, I was gonna see if you overhand chuck that. That would be hilarious. All right, you, you, you catch the, uh, axe in your hand. Who, me? Yeah, you asked. Oh him no, back. I said to give it to Gruel. Uh, yeah, I said oh, to give it to Gruel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Gruel, Gruel catches it. Okay. In honor of your blood god, may you spill it well. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. No. But one of us is going to bleed. All right, let's go. Okay. This is gonna be best three out of five. Okay, uh, Monty, you're break you're crackling a little bit on my end. Am I crackling again? Am I clear on you guys? Yeah. The rest of you guys? It might, might just, like it might just be my end. It might just be my end. I do apologize. Just but it all Am I clear? Over. Am I You're fine now. Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay. I might have to rest I might have to take apart and re-put together my <clears throat> microphone. I'm thinking that's something I might have to do. Uh, okay. So my good friend, let me pull out his stats real fast. Go for it. Oh, where is Volos? <clears throat> Wait, what should Volos? Oh there it is. What? Reorganize my books. Okay. Roll. Where are you, buddy? No, that's Tarisk. We don't want Tarisk right now. Well, all the orcs He's are going, home. Ooga, Chaga, Ooga, Ooga. Yeah. And, like, uh, Evelina's gone, like, full through the fire and the flames on the drums. <clears throat> but, yeah, you know, Panic's joining in that shit. Oh, yeah. She's a really good drummer. Um... Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. I keep forgetting they list it with the orcs. They don't list it with everything else. So that's fine. There he is. There you are, buddy. Okay. So I want you for the, I want you to roll a uh I think it's athletics we do, correct? Uh correct. Yeah, so athletics roll for me. Okay. It's gonna be a six. Ooh, 
That's gonna be a 10 for Gruel. Okay. He takes and like with just like super easy, like looping the axe around as if he's wielded it for years. He swings up and he strikes you across the front of your chest. If it was metal, it would probably have created sparks, but because it's made out of his horn, it just leaves a very solid dent. And the actually serrated edge of his horn like actually snags and he has to pull the axe back. Very nice. All right. One victory for Gruel. All right, next roll. All right. 11. Natural one for Gruel. Um, because he swung so badly, can Remy do something? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Remy wants to run up with his sword drawn, uh, and wherever he swings the, the hammer, he wants to make sure it hits Remy square in the chest. So he wants to make it look like he's going to move into it and get hit. Oh, okay. So you want to have disadvantage for the next round, essentially. Yeah, well, no. So I want Gruul to hit me. Like, I want him to get a point for this round. I want to make sure that his miss still hits me. Okay. Roll a deception check. Okay. Uh, oh. <sighs> his wisdom's not great. Neither's my deception, but it's 15. Uh, that's a 13 minus one, so that's a 12. He doesn't know what you're doing. Okay. He swings, he kind of staggers, but you, you pretend to stumble and bam, you hit him. You get him. Oh. <laughs> Careful on your toes there. He goes to swing around again. All Roll right. Athletics check. All right. And that's an at oh. one. Perfect. Best oh, he rolled an at one too. What? Uh, wow. <laughs> Cross wow. counter. My butt heads. <laughs> Ow, my head. <laughs> You guys like both like try like trip and you guys both ram into each other. Um, as you guys are sitting and watching panic, you look at some druid just shakes her head and goes, dumbasses. She's kind of shaking your head at this spectacle. You get the wow. sense this might actually be Gruel's sister now that you're kind of looking at her. Oh my gosh. Gruel has a sister? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An only child. I can't right. believe we just nat one. Yeah, you guys tied nat ones. That's hilarious. All right, next roll. All right. Ooh, that's really good. That's an 18. 19. Perfect. Plus five to a 14. Yep. He watches, he takes you in an arm bar and he slams you into the ground. And everybody like is in a raucous applause and is screaming and is really pleased with this display. Uh, Remy is gonna stay on the ground like he's knocked out. So when, when Gruel hit him on the ground, it's, he's, his body's gonna go limp. Roll a deception check. Oh Christ. You are trying to deceive him. Six. Oh, All no. right, he kind of grabs, he grabs you on the chest plate and like pulls you to your feet. He goes, Ugh. now it's not the time for resting. Ugh. It's, he will notice that Remy was kind of already bleeding. <laughs> uh, he hasn't like... been healed. Yeah, he, he looks very up. shitty. Oh, buddy. And he kind of pats you on the face and he goes, <clears throat> I know it's hard to do what you want for love. Come on, he kind of grabs you, he kind of helps you. <laughs> and you watch as he stumbles over towards Audrey, once again. And you idiot! He walks over and he stands in front of her. And Audrey is like, Audrey's on through like her, her second or third piece of this dragon's wing. Like you just see bones scattered around her, it looks like a murder scene. And she stops and she watched, she was watching. And she looks up to the two of you and like almost like a proud mother literally you are being held up by the shoulder like the the, the shoulder pauldrons in front of audrey and he's kind of like giving this like smile like hey hey remy's gonna sell it he's gonna look limp and as dead as he can <laughs> audrey's like kind of looks and goes, Remy, are you are you okay no he's very good uh, oh, she's gonna heal you <laughs> one spell left <laughs> okay, wow, you get healed for eight. All right. I brought you a Remy. <laughs> Do you love me now? It's like, a, it's like a cat giving you its kill. Like, I did this for you. Here you go. Here, have this crow. You found this weird um, dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do watch as Audrey does stand up. And <clears throat> as she stands up after healing you, Gruel is just like, <gasps> like takes this deep inhale and like turns to look at you with this giant smile, like, oh my god, it's happening! Like the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my ships come true. <laughs> and then you watch as she actually touches Gruel. Oh. Oh. 
Rem Remy, Remy is gonna smirk so hard. And Gruel just freezes. Has that same smile. Bor is, the whole, is, is, the whole, is, the, is the whole place quiet? Yeah. Okay, Borky, except for Evelina, who's just just going nuts on the drums. Bor and Bor Borky does uh, from Puss in Boots. Oh, <laughs> over his mouth. See, I just fucking imagined Gruel just like doing like the I'm a genius, and then the panic face right after it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> There is this this weird ominous silence, and Audrey kind of looks around the cap now, realizing as people are kind of looking, and she's like, "Can I'm not? Sp I don't understand." And girl's just like, "But but he, he, he but he's like pointing to you, Remy, and like like your face, and he's like like <laughs> smooshing your feathers, like it's a uh, uh, limp like a rubber chicken." And he Remy's just gonna look even more beat up. <laughs> oh, and and he's shaking his head. He knows exactly what's happening. Yep. Me. And Audrey's like, oh. but Zen Zenria leans back and goes, nice. Uh, are you are you sure? She goes, looks up and goes, yeah, I'm sure. You're sure? Do you want me to say no? I can say no. No, no, no. I mean, if I, yeah, let's just, yeah, sure, sure. He kind of takes let's go, her by the arm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I told you. <coughs> you just fall over fun. dead. Yeah. Just imagine Gruel just lets go of him. Ah! Just falls over. Dunk. <laughs> and the two of them walk away. And like, and like, Gruel's like, "Are you seriously though? Are you sure?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm sure." She's like, "I appreciate you taking those arrows from me, okay?" And they just kind of walk off. <laughs> Remy, Remy's on the floor. Family Guy falls over. <laughs> be, be gentle, Audrey Senpai. <laughs> As you as you're on the ground, uh, Maria, who is plenty wasted at this point, she walks over and she goes, "I'm sorry, you got dumped. I'm so sad for you." <laughs> <laughs> Here and she like reaches over and she grabs a leaf off the ground. Have a leaf. She hands it to you. <laughs> Gotta do a leaf. <laughs> May, but it's may not the gods quite... always protect your innocence. <laughs> she just hands you a tankard, Remy. Sorry. She hands she it. hands you a tankard, Remy. She goes here. Drink drink to forget. Uh, uh, I want another one. She stands me up. Me too. And goes, yeah, and the druid is like, no, and she's like, oh. Okay. Bor uh, is it uh -huh. okay if I do something right now? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go Remy's on the ground. Borky pretty much just go <laughs> cracks his knuckles, cracks his neck, and Borky walks into the middle of the grouse. Hey! He's shimmying a little bit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Borky's feeling good. Borky's feeling good. Ooh, no one else. None of the other orcs want to fight. No one? You did what? just kill- You just killed the shit out of their leader. They might- I challenge! One of the strongest warriors in this town to a fight. I challenge you. And Borky points through the fire, through the flames, over the frying pan, and right at Kiwi. Hi. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. what? Oi! I I you wanna over. go, mate? You wanna go? What's oh, that? No, oh, Christ. Oh, oh. Greco's, Greco's, control your pet. Greco's isn't there! I'm sorry! Oh, oh, God. Borky, Borky hey, does the, go. the rock just bring it thing with the hand. Zenryo <laughs> uh, holds, holds up a sign that says Kiwi 316. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I wanna see, I wanna see Kiwi. You want my art immediately. Well, let I me want, tell you something I I about my man Fletch. I do one pan, two pans, three pans. <laughs> What? No weapons. I... Regular because regular members of the camp can't fight weapons. It's only the only the chieftain can, unfortunately. So, you guys have to fight fist to fist here. Borky, like, just like, <laughs> just like cracks his knuckles. Are they doing a stare down against each other right now? Oh yeah, you guys are like walking around like two lions about to fight over like a carcass. 
And like at this point, Evelyn is actually like playing the drums low and intenseful. I saw what you did in the fight. You got a killer instinct there, Kiwi. I'm I think sorry. I just by kinda, the way, I, I, by the way, what you was your know, last what? name? I, it's Kiwi Kiwi. It doesn't matter what your last name is. <laughs> Cause now you gotta go one on one with the orc one. The green one. The green one to one on one okay. with the green one. Alrighty, what do I? What do I? Ah, he just runs and charges at you. Roll, roll an athletics check. Athletics, come on, big guy. <laughs> Kiwi has a minus one to this. He's gonna get his shit kicked in unless he rolls really well. Wow, that's an eighteen. Thirteen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. As you go running to take the first punch, like almost like an anime, Kiwi's like, huh. And immediately pokes you in the eye with his beak. Ah! He's getting jabbed in the eye with his beak. Me eye! Ooh, my after image! Ooh. Oh no, it was. Uh, I attacked his after image. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening. All right. Okay. Oh. Good job, Kiwi. Next, next one. Minus one. Okay, there's no way. 16. You have to roll one. Yeah, no. You deck him right in the face. <laughs> do I do the whole, like, punch hear... the beak around, like, behind him, like Daffy Duck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He swings around and snaps back into place. <laughs> he rolled, he rolled a, a, a soft a soft one. Mm, soft. Because he, uh, he rolled a two minus one. All right, next one. Oh, buddy, come on. 19. <laughs> oh, oh! You grab him by the beak and you just start clobbering him to the ground like whack, 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 whack. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, maybe let's call it a draw. <laughs> right. Here we one. go. I want him to roll. Forget the talk. Orky's going to beat the crazy out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that was caught. That was that. That could have been a twenty, but it was caught. I'm so sad. That's still really good. That's another eighteen. Oh <laughs> my god! Oh my god! As, Battle of the ages. As you're holding, oh, Orky, if you lose. Holding, as you as you grab onto his beak, you suddenly land, and you guys are in this like tug of war, and then suddenly his beak begins to open, prying your hands apart. And as he does, he slips his beak out and then grabs your hand, and he throws you over <laughs> by the power of sheer beak alone. You guys are what? tied up. The next, what the next takes it. Oh it's God! Crazy. Are we are we locked up? Or are we running at each other now? Yeah, you guys are like running at each other like an anime. Uh... Oh my God, Borky! Don't! Oh my oh. God, Borky! Eleven! Oh. oh my God! He got a six. Oh, oh, oh Borky with oh. the eleven! Can... You run and in. How do you want to do it, Borky? I see an elbow Most drop. Like from hell. I see. A Borky. From... I want Borky to catch him. Okay. And just with his, he's gonna go for like a clothesline where just he hit the neck with your arm, grabs him, and then picks him up and plants him into the ground. Oh Duplex city. No. You do so. His the beak. Bork bottom. <laughs> the orcs the erupt bottom. into cheers. And foods and drink is spilled. People are really starting to get like late now. And Kiwi's just like, I don't think I'll, I'll be violent anymore. Yeah. Oh, Borky, <laughs> Borky just rubs his hair. If you want to be a chef, I know a chef. You know what? <laughs> uh, there we go. I think, I think my nose is bleeding. No, I think, no. Is my nose bleeding? You don't have a nose, you're a bird. Oh. <laughs> it's eye his eyes hanging out of the socket. <laughs> I feel weird. As, oh. At this point, as the night continues on, people begin to go their separate ways. Uh, Maria goes into the middle of the fight pit, and then one of the orcs just kind of drags her out like, no, honey. Come no, on! No. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone is basically heads off to their respective sleeping places. Uh, Greckles, you are staying in Afpar's tent, correct? Mm-hmm. Whenever, yeah, whenever is appropriate. Yeah, you stay with the Sunblade. It doesn't really do much at night. It just kind of emits a glow. Um, but you stay there well, awaiting the dawn uh, as the rest of you guys head to bed. I, I, had, I had a thing to do, actually, once I got there. 
Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Is okay, you're there. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm waiting on you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Greckles kneels. Like, is is it emulating light? Oh yeah, it always does. Okay, just want to make sure. <clears throat> Greckles sits down and he closes his eyes. Actually, I hate to ask this, but do, do, do you mind cutting off the festivity music? Because it's actually really hard. Yeah, yeah, I'm actor. actually digging around to find something right now. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's really hard no. to be joyous and, and going through I this know, moment. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to find... The mood Here, music let me find some more appropriate music. <laughs> that is not appropriate! Ah, I love <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love you, Monty. I love you so much. Okay. Yeah. Greckle sits down and he just stares deep at that sunlight that comes off the blade. The blade is completely made of sun or sunlight, correct? No, it's it's metal. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure. It just has this, think... this like glowing element to it. He thinks back to the entire year. Everything that led him up to this point. The losses, the gains, meeting Sully, seeing Solar, everything in between. And he closes his eyes and he begins to speak. Orin, the morning and the evening star, and Solar. I'm new with this, but I ask for your clairvoyance and clarity. Everything seems to be falling in place, starting with meeting Sully and seeing radiance from you working through her, meeting Solar, yourself, and, and even Orin, seeing Orin with my own eyes. I've spent so much time growing up in, in darkness and doubt, but maybe that's my own selfishness, seeing myself through. So many times in my life, I've lost every over and over and over. I lost my home. I lost my love. In fact, I've lost everything to what I thought was you. But maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's time that I turn my life over to something bigger than myself and my own wants and my own needs. Great Solar, I know you're planning something bigger than me, bigger than the rest of the Unexpectables. I've seen your radiance shine through Sully, through everyone that you've gathered through visions. How could I deny your existence, let alone the good that you actually... <sighs> I've met so many that have changed me for the better. Sully, you, uh, the clerics, and, and paladins, it's, it's, it's all so bizarre. I thought perhaps you were my enemy, and maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. No matter what the case is, I want to completely turn over to your will. Instruct me on the plan that you have set out for Sully Andrus. Allow me to protect her. Be be a part of whatever is happening. I realize that all of this is bigger than all of us. And all that I seek now is clarity and understanding what the bigger picture is. Your vision goes blank. You stand somewhere familiar, a memory but not yours. One of Solly's memories that you entered a long time ago. Wisps a cloud. Gentle sunlight. The sun blades in your hand, and it's light. What? What is this? Out of character, the Sunblade is a finesse weapon. Oh. Solar, 
Soul, or is that you? You see a large humanoid form in the distance. Uh, Grekels like walks towards it. Speck on the horizon. You get closer and closer and closer. It's not as big as you thought it was. Hmm. And you see a different memory. Something from yours. Something that you remember lies showing you a long time ago, too. A masked person. A masked Kenku. Where your egg ended up. And they stand there, looking at you. You... You were there when it happened. Sleeves bellowing in the wind. We're waiting for you. You're brought immediately back and you wake up and at this <gasps> point, it is now dawn. All right. Here's where we'll take a break. Rad. Ooh, Goodness. Neat. Very cool. Hey, Ga Gaijin, one of my favorite scenes you've ever done. That was freaking amazing. Oh, oh I was freaking out so hard. That was dope. <laughs> that uh, was really well done. Well, quick before I dip out for a second. Defective cheat with the 3,000. Hey, guys, I finished my all tiefling one shot last Saturday. So the <clears> players <throat> started off as slaves and finished the session sailing off towards the sunset on a fireproof ship in a sea of burning gray water and became pirates. Sounds like a heck of a nice. one shot. Blackfoot Ferret with the over <laughs> 9,000 bits. Limes love the emote. Over 9,000! Blackfoot Ferret. When we get back, I want you guys to decide how you want to get home. Because that's what this next oh, part's going to be. Okay. Is you guys ooh, ooh, oh, we have picking horses. a way to go oh. home. You have uh, horses. You also have the folding boat as well. So it's up to you. No. No. Morrow, Morrow 29 with the Never 50, again. With the 1500 bits, the ship has finally sailed. 1500 bits. Anonymous gifting a bunch of subs. Do a bunch of people as well. Thank you all so much. That was a lot of fun. Where I was I was planning on challenging Kiwi for so long. <laughs> oh, it was so Like, I almost expected you to kind of throw it just to give the boy some 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 encouragement not, but no that gonna, was good i am not gonna lose to a goddamn potato with wings okay i don't <laughs> oh have a heart what i do listen, yeah. listen my chieftain you can you can whoa, have a soft whoa, 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 time whoa, to time whoa 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 <laughs> what's all that about what's all that about go 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 pee and get food you guys all right get seriously food. get out of here <laughs> hi chat i'll stick around with you guys like always <laughs> I'm here too. Come on. Oh yeah, you're still get here. Get some water, That's though. Right. Well, then go. Then you're not gonna be here. What? Okay, fine. I'll just you, leave them. Fine. Yeah, get get out of here. Go get your water. Also, Toby the Doc Prof, five hundred. No message, just bits. Thank you for the five hundred bits. Stilly Soul ninety nine with the Twitch subscription, six months in a row. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. You are all. Uh, Sugar Daddy with 500 bits. Yay, I'm so glad I was able to make this session. Also, hi. Uh, headshot hi. with the one, two, three, four, five, and then cupcakes. Uh, 500 bits and cupcakes. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Also, hi, Chad. Hello, everybody. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, burnout with 1,000 bits. Hey, just FYI, it's pronounced Vaughn. Yes, it is pronounced Vaughn, like the 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 uh, Mo Vaughn, the baseball player. And to Monty and Zito, I'm about to DM my first five E game after four failed Pathfinder sessions, and I'm about to pull about every trick you'd ever do. Wish me luck, and Zito, I'm gonna mail you some stuff you may like soon. Great job, everyone. So there we go. Uh, pro, it's because Bosco has nothing better to do. He drives off everyone who hangs out with him, and will end alone. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty accurate, actually. Thank you for. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two cents change with the 14th month resubscription. Thank you very much, sir. Borky probably just saved Kiwi's life with that. Kiwi may be lucky with attacks, but the poor boy probably couldn't take a hard sneeze in his direction. He needed the blood rage beaten out of him. <coughs> there we go. Bosco, Bosco Crabius would have annihilated you. 
that's probably true actually i'm seeing someone in the chat real quick just asking you want to make an archaeopteryx based character and you want to know which is better in choice an aarakocra or a sauron play the sauron and we're... sauron yeah play the sauron because it actually is an archaeopteryx so go for it that's mm. fair Now nah, you do a ton of, <laughs> you add a ton of flavor to the party, Bosco. Never change. Okay, maybe change a little bit, but not much. Thanks, Citric. Appreciate you having my back. Always, always very nice. Fight Crabius in the grouse. No, I thought you might lie. Qdex with the 1,000 bits. Love the fact that Gruel's not sure how to spell his name. Favorite ship was sunk by his own cannon. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I'm actually really happy because when you had me roll that insight check above game, I knew what that was. And in game, I'm like, oh, that's going to work perfectly for what I wanted to do. Yeah, in the fight, Gruel took a bunch of hits for Audrey. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, to give context, you guys probably can, could figure that out on your own. But yeah. All those well, when she was looking at the arrows, I'm like, oh, she fell. You, sorry, you cut out? When she oh, I said, arrows? when when she was looking at the arrows, I'm like, yeah, she fell for him. That's perfect. Girl's a uh, dumbass, but... <laughs> yeah, but he's a sweetheart. He can be. Viridian Winter with a tier two sub subscribed for 15 months in a row. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Uh, Bloodhound 36 with 100 bits. So when does Greckles become a Phoenix Keiku? Uh, we will find out soon, I hope. Uh, Jack Jumbo with 1,000 bits. Hey, Bosco, now that we're alone with each other, do you play card games? Oh, that's where that's going. Okay, got it. Uh, like playing <laughs> card games or <laughs> Garth Stone or Magic the Gathering. Hey, I've never been places. much... I, I play like... Texas Hold'em and those kind of card games. I haven't really been into like, like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or any of the more sophisticated card games, depending upon how sophisticated Texas Hold'em. But yeah, games, but not actual like Magic the Gathering. Uh, a lot of friends that do though. Bosco, really, really quick. Yes. You're cutting out pretty bad. Then here's what I'm going to do. That's that's a Discord hiccup. I just How's saw that? my... How's that? Yeah, okay. the, the All good? Been going from green to orange every once in a great while. Mm, oh my goodness. Sir, I just got back. I just saw what Script Daddy did. Yeah. yeah, Script Daddy with the 10,000 bits. Good time Damn. so far. I love how quick Kiwi goes to a bloodless Monty. This is amazing. Script Daddy, thank you so much, dude. Much love, dude. Absolutely. Oh. So, so I got to ask, Gaijin, mm -hmm. are you uh, you trying to become a cleric? We'll see where that path takes me. I know. I want to can I, can I, I want to, I want to say something really quick. Ever since the art stream... <clears throat> Ever since the art stream, and it was made more public that that was something that I had, I've had a lot of people come at me and they're like, Fifth Ed Multiclassing is terrible. You don't have the stats to do this. I want everyone to know. I can't speak for all of us, but I think I might speak for all of us when I say we play our characters to the enjoyment of and what they are. This is do not about... I've come to the point where if you guys want to unlock multi-classing, there are certain milestones I want you guys to reach as well right. before you can do right. it. Yeah. But, but I mean, if if we do it, it's a matter of does it feel right for the character? Does it feel right for the story that we want <clears throat> to tell? It's not about can I min-max? Can I do more hmm. damage? Can I, can I sneak better or whatever? That's not what it's yeah. about. It's about yeah, telling it's, the story that we want it to tell. If you're going to multi-class, there needs to be an in-character reason for it, and you've set Greckles down that path, and I think all of us would agree that w if we're going to yeah. level up or take a skill or take a feat or take a weapon, it's going to be for an in-game reason with mm -hmm. backstory guys, to back it up. When yeah. you guys have talked about intrigue with multi-classing, I've thought of that in, in some stuff in the world that I think will help with that mm -hmm. and make, make that make a lot more sense in both a world and player sort of. Yep. Yeah, is everybody and it's more fun or? when you get to, like, live it. I oh, think, yeah. yeah. I think everyone... Is Octo, Octo here? I'm still here. I think he's still Yay. here. Yeah. He's very soft. Codex for the thousand bits. Love the fact that Gruel's not sure how to spell it. Favorite ship was sunk by his own cannon. Codex for the thousand bits. <laughs> oh yeah, we. Oh yeah, we read the everything. Script everything after the script, Daddy, we got. Uh, uh, or everything yeah. before, I mean. Uh, uh, Argent Lyell with a twenty-five hundred bits. Greckles is about to become the White Ranger, and if you can't convince me otherwise, Greckles <laughs> is Tommy, <laughs> and the Sunblade is Saba. It's Saba, yeah. Oh Saba. no. Blow into it. Wait, does that mean Borky's? <laughs> 
Take no, you don't blow in a Saba. You blow uh, into the you blow into the dragon green dragon. Dragon. White no. Ranger. Yeah. Oh, green. I thought Remy was the White Ranger because he's not always here. <laughs> there are July, oh, I mean, are we going with... Wow. Thank you so much for the 2,500 bits. Uh, Blackwing Hugget, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, he did not, character-wise. Uh, Master Monster 11 with a 1,050 bits. You guys are great. Thanks for the laughs and let the good times roll. Thank you so much. Thank you as well, Defective Chief. Sorry, my stomach's acting up. Continue on, though. Mm. Yep. Is everybody back? Yeah. I think we're good to keep going. All right, All let's right. do it. So as, you guys, as you guys wake up, um, people wake up hungover um, because a lot of the orcs have never had alcohol before. All the alcohol you realized that you guys drank oh. last night was all from the camp raid. It was all the clergy's alcohol, and you guys drank all of it mm. in one night. Um, as you guys wake up, um, everyone uh, seems either hungover or like really content um and you guys are going to be set on your way now how do you guys want to travel do you guys want to go by land horse. or by sea? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I think okay. i think i don't think anybody's going in that boat so i think your horse yeah. is probably although uh, we should is... keep we should keep that boat oh, oh it, it folds up so we're oh, fine yeah. but i figure we put ocean. i figure we put all <laughs> yeah. the weapons and stuff in that like magic bag of holding that you guys found oh the portable hold yeah oh, you the guys portable i assume you put yeah, everything yeah. in yeah, yeah. So, um, we just have everything. Panic's gonna have that, or like around his waist, or like attached to his belt, or something. <laughs> you I'll can't hold. Put it in, I'll probably put it in my jacket or something. Because okay. it's because it's just a cloth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a folded up handkerchief. Yeah. It looks like. It's, do you it's open like it up and drop stuff in? Yeah. Um. Like magic it, does, it, does take, it does take time to open it, and things can exit it, so you can't like put someone in there. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, also, ooh, that's just terrifying. Before, yeah. b before, before too much time does pass. Uh, Greckles will actually pick up the Sunblade and exit out into the dawn, just facing the sun, just holding his arms out and up, closing his eyes, closing his eyes and breathing in, and he smiles. You got a sign, a gift from Solar. Mm. Um, you guys are set up in a cart. Um, Gruel is just like, literally, is like, how do you attach this? And his sister's like, you attach it here, you idiot. And she's kind of like, she's very <laughs> gruff. <laughs> and very firm with him. Um, like, and she's obviously, like, very clear that she's pissed off that she got, like, kind of pulled into this whole fiasco in the first place. Oh. She's very much got that hermit sort of vibe from her, where she'd, like, at the party, she's like, she'd rather be somewhere else, but she feels obligated to be there. Um, she loads up your guys' things, some camping gear, uh, plenty of rations as well. Almost too much rations. And there's enough space in the back there for two people to go. Uh, Evelina runs up and kind of jumps into the back of the cart. Uh, and as you guys all stand there, uh, Gruel, Audrey, Honore, Kendra, Maria, that one orc that had a crush on Zenrio, who mm. is crying <laughs> at the moment. Tom, uh, who is wearing orc armor somehow. I oh guess my gosh. Started. <laughs> um, Gruel, Gruel kind of steps where he goes, here, a final gift for you. And they kind of shoves Lionel, Lionel towards you. Audrey mentioned that he might be of use to your, um, politicians. Uh, yes, we will take him uh, with our fondest actually, gratitude. Ta ta when he hears that, Tash, actually, his ears go up and he goes, Wait a minute. That just made me realize something. Gruel. Mm. I don't mean to be mean when I say this, but can you write a letter? <laughs> he turns to Audrey. Audrey goes, I can write a letter. Yes, but I also would like something that is officially from Gruul himself saying that I he's mean, willing to have diplomatic, like, relationships with Alabast. You don't need that. You don't need a running in that she if I say an orc says yeah, She can, like, ghostwrite for him. Also, you should be careful who finds out about that task. Uh, uh, task, how about this? There. Borky instead walks up to Gruul. Deal's a deal. Borky offers his, like, wrist, essentially. Hmm. He kind of grabs it. He goes, the axe I gave you, that will be my letter. Yeah, it will be. Very well, as long as we have some kind of freedom. And thank you for this. Again, Gruel. You want, well, usually you want they say the uh, pen is mightier than the sword, but I guess That is it. ridiculous. Swords are much bigger and heavier. <laughs> oh, Pens God. Are tiny. <laughs> right? It's like if you tried to fight someone with a pen and they had a sword, you'd lose, right? Uh, Yes, exactly. You're ah, preposterous thing. Crazy. Gruel. It, it's, it, it means sometimes the things that you say can be more powerful than the weapons you wield. No. 
I understand. For example, you can oh, shout die really loudly at I someone. I get it now. Okay. See, that makes more sense than trying to fight someone with a pen. Oh. If need be, tell your people to send a falcon. And uh, Audrey can help me with whatever we need. Very cool. Um, Audrey kind of looks to you, Remy, and she goes, I'm going to stay here. I understand. I, to I told you I wanted to understand this taint before I came to a decision, so. Do me a favor. Take care of him. And I'm going to nod at Gruel. Excuse me, I am chief, and I need, I don't need to be, sorry. <laughs> he kind of looks to Audrey, he kind of shoots in this look. This look. Yeah. Well. So, for, for clarification, all the clerics are staying? Uh, except for uh, Evelina, who has ah. an uncle in Alabas. Yeah. Oh. Got it. Is, is Tom there? Yeah, Tom. Yeah, Tom's there. He's got like an axe that's three sizes too big. So he's like, yeah, being orcs, right? Yeah. I want to say, Tom! And I point at him. I'm like, remember what I told Remember what I told you, bro. And then, like, I, I, like, do the thing where I, like, point at my eyes and I, like, look at him and I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> he kind of lifts up the axe over his head. Yeah! He kind of slams right. down, almost falling over. Gruel kind of looks at that and turns and goes, mixing human blood in might be a good idea. Just a thought. Um, Greckles would like to rally around Audrey, Hanori, uh, Maria, and, uh, Elena? Or is it Belina? I can't. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It was uh, Evelina, Evelina, no. Maria, Honore, Kendra, and Audrey. I can't. Okay. Um, he just wants to. He just huddled around him, and he's he's tearing up really hard. There's a tear that rolls down his cheek. Aww. Kendra walks up and hugs you. Don't cry. I didn't even know birds could cry. And she kind of hugs <laughs> you. Oh my gosh. Listen, listen, all of you. I. I had a vision, and I have a path, and I have all of you to thank for that. I, I, I wish so dearly that you would come back with us, but I know that you know your own place. And no one can, no one can choose your path except you. But I thank you regardless. Same, Same with you, though. It's true. But it's a strong see... path. Yes? If you see Sully Andrus. Tell her we're sorry, and we miss her. I will. And you watch as Sonori kind of leans down, and, and Kendra kind of sends word, and we need her. We all need her. All right. Get out of here. This is my camp. Go. <laughs> ah, he kind of scares <laughs> you. <laughs> Going, don't you know I don't need you anymore? Ooh, and you just fly away. <laughs> okay, like, bye. Like, I love pigeon. you. <laughs> As you say, I love you. That orc goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. So, question, Monty. Do we all have horses? And there's one hooked up to the carriage, or how is? Yeah. How uh, is one is hooked up to the carriage. Wait a minute. What about Kiwi? Horses. What about Kiwi? I'm coming with you. I'm oh, coming Kiwi. with you. Jesus, Kiwi's Come on, with us. Right <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm standing next to you the whole time. So you guys have six horses, and you have one horse that's that can pull the wagon that can pull two people. Kiwi's okay. small enough he could probably ride with someone who's not Borky. <laughs> Got it. Um, if it's all the same to everyone else, if Evelina's going to be riding in the cart, Greckles would like to ride with her. Uh, uh, I was going to ride the carriage since I oh, have uh, also... proficiency in vehicle. Well, were you going gonna... to? You can Sorry. man. You can drive. Uh, I would say Evelina and Leonel are probably going to occupy the cart because that Leonel. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay, uh, Remy fine. will take Kiwi. Okay. He grabs the reins, like, yeah, give you up. And he kind of slaps the reins, and the horse turns uh, around with this very angry uh, expression. Remy is, Remy is not going to let him drive. He's going to very <laughs> gently pick him up and move him to the back. And then. Oh, what? Come on. Uh, no disrespect, of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care, all you. Goodbye, Gruel. We'll Be never great. meet again. Borky just waving the axe as he's walk clip clopping away. <laughs> Fight well, strike true. Next one. You as well, Gruel. What does Borky say? Next, next kill's on you. Borky. Ha! They're always on me. Take care, Remy. Find yourself a good partner. And you make sure you keep yours. Well. Uh, we'll see how the grouses go. <laughs> mm. 
kind of pulls at his collar that he doesn't have. Uh, the clerics all kind of wave, and they go, May Orin guide you! Take care! And all the orcs begin to wave, too, and you see his grandma, kind of waves her <laughs> stick in the air. Oh. Just by, Shulga. Thanks for the paint. I love you, handsome man. I know. <laughs> I know. Did you did you just haunt solo her? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you guys take off forward into the woods, taking a seaside trail with your cart in tow. I would like Tass to roll a uh, vehicle check. Yeah. And everybody else to roll a group animal handling check. 18. Oh, yeah, you're Whoa. fine. Tass, you're fine. Yeah, I'm good at these. 14. Uh, oh, that's a five. Five? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. Okay. Greckles is hanging onto the horse's neck. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. Oh, no, team. Oh, no. That one. Okay, well, you, that's as a group check that passes. Okay. You had to pass a 10. Uh, unfortunately, though, for panic, as you're, uh, as you're walking forward, you're just like, good horse. The horse hates your guts. Uh, this horse is like Oreo for me. There's a lot of low branches, and the horse keeps like sidelining to like go like beneath low branches to knock you off of its back every yeah. time. And you're just like, you're just like, well, you get like a mouthful of branches and bristles. This horse is a bit of a dick. Panic's getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna assume the horse is just like the horse from a road to El Dorado, but more sassy. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like tangled, oh like God. the tangled horse. Max Maximilian. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, uh, Zemrio kind of like, is sort of like looking out and he kind of like turns to everybody and goes, So, wh where are we going? Uh, we're heading towards Alavast. It's a large city to the, I believe, is north like of here. Is like a restaurant? It, it has restaurants, restaurants in it. Yeah. Whoa. So it's a restaurant with restaurants inside it? Yes, Zen we'll go with that, sure. Zen Zenrio, it's our home. You live in a restaurant? I, hmm. We actually oh, do live this... in the restaurant, come to think of it. <laughs> yeah, that, you do. That, yeah, we kind of do. True. Not wrong. Uh, whoa, that's cool. Um, so, uh, what, what do we do when we get there? Well, that's for you to decide. You We're eat... actually going to be reaching a crossroads here. Uh. I know that you being on land is new to you, but you're actually entering a city where there's thousands if not millions of possibilities before you if there's something you wanted to do that you were not allowed to actually capable of doing while still under the company of your mother and father now is your chance to actually seize it and make it your own you mean i could jump on the bed and no one would yell at me yes you can, Whoa! You can do that you can eat all the cookies from the cookie jar what we have That's, a you're not serious are you and you can stay up past midnight. What? You can also drink alcohol if you want. Greckles. Well, I, I'm not old enough for that. That's against. I want to get in trouble. Do we actually? Top, top bar. Uh, Sideline, real quick. Do we actually? Mm -hmm. How old Henry is? Zenry. Has it ever? Has it ever come up in conversation? I don't think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> He's been. Well, to, be, to be fair, we already know you're gonna offer alcohol to a child. You did it with yeah. Arnold. Yeah, you're consistent. Hey, hey you're hey. consistent. I like it. It's character consistency. You're a bad influence on everybody. Who <laughs> are you, then? Wait, wait, what? How old are you? <laughs> old enough to party. <laughs> We're not getting a number. All right. Yeah. Well, while they're, wait, while they're talking. Like, what you mean, like in years? Yes, like in years. Oh, hang on. He counts on his fingers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many birthday parties did I have? Uh. What come? What comes after nineteen? Twenty. Yeah, that. Two nineteens. Yeah, two nine. I'm double nineteen. Hey, money. What is the legal drinking age in Alavast? Surprisingly, it's not the same as BC. Uh, it's actually the same as America, so it's 21. Oh. Or Darn. at least the equivalency of 21 for the various races because of the different, you know, growing. All right, so he can't, he can't have whiskey, but he can have champagne and got it. He can um, have Shirley Temples. <laughs> he can have alcohol. While they're talking to Zenryo, can Remy ride ahead a little bit and talk to the Kiwi real quick? 
Yeah, Kiwi, Kiwi's okay. kind of riding behind. He's already getting kind of horse sick at this point. You guys have been traveling for probably about two days now. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Uh, uh, yeah. Kiwi, uh, if I may have a moment. Yeah. Um, I wanted to wait till all of this was over, but uh, your captain didn't survive the encounter. Yeah, I had a feeling. Didn't see him at um, the party. Yes. Uh, however, th he's going to point back to the four of them who are probably still asking Zenria how old he is. Uh, they happen to have an establishment within the city. Uh, perhaps you could speak to them about employment? I I'm not exactly sure what skills you have, but you're handy with a frying pan. Yeah, that's true. I am. I mean, I've, I've done lots of grunt work and things like that. You know, run around, engine work. I just... I, I think it's maybe time to settle down and... Yeah, you see, I keep trying that, Remy. I keep trying to do that. And then, you know, Destiny's like, no, you ain't having that, Kiwi. You ain't having that at all. Uh, well, That's Alibis... why I had a little bit of an episode with the fight in there. You know, I was just like, oh, I want to kill. It was mostly like, I'm really upset. And I don't know what to do with this energy. So I went and I hit people with the pan. Remy's going to reach Remy's gonna reach back and kind of hug him with one arm as best he can while he's riding the horse. I keep losing right. people, man. My captains, every single time. My, my best mate for that shoot now is named Greckles. But that's fine. He's nice. Look at the depressing alive. life this character has. I just, you know, I just wish I could. I, I, you know, and maybe I will. You know what? Maybe you're right with this place. Maybe I'll sit down, settle down, have myself a Kiwi wife, relax, have a job where what? nothing terrible happens all the time. <laughs> just marry a Kiwi. Uh. <laughs> the wedding I'm was sorry. beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help. <laughs> Kiwi, a lot of people go to Alavast for a new start. It is a city of immigrants. They come from all over to start anew. I mm. think it could be a good beginning for you. Yeah. I think you're right. Besides, you've already made some good friends. I'm going to point back at Greckles and then motion to all of them. That's true, yeah. I just want to have a nap, I think, after all this is done. You know? <laughs> Take a rest. Days. It's going to be a long trip. Yeah. For the sake of brevity, uh, to <laughs> speed up travel. Uh, yeah, oh, I, actually, I actually wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, I yeah, still yeah. actually wanted to complete... complete for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Zen, your family did actually mention something about you with your magic, yes? Uh, yeah. They were like, you gotta go, uh, talk to the something collector. The somebody the collector. The Nurasmus Collective. Yeah, the, the neuro neur neur neurological collect. Well, the task isn't going to correct them at this point. Well, yeah, totally. lucky, lucky, lucky for you, we actually, like, have establishments that house that society within them. So, you can uh, start there. Well, I was thinking I could do that, or I thought about, well, being with you guys and seeing what it's like here on the surface, you know, not in the ocean. Uh, I, I realize a lot of people fight each other, and a lot of people are mad at each other, and there's a lot of bad stuff going on. So... I kind of wanted to maybe uh, think about helping people and, uh, you know, giving talks and, like, hyping people up to be positive and be good in the world. And I decided to call my new idea the rule of cool because everybody's cool to each other. <sighs> you'll, you'll, be, you'll be fine in the cleric district. <laughs> you will do absolutely fine in the cleric district, my friend. I'm dying. Yeah, is, is that where I could go to do that? This is the greatest goddamn idea I've ever heard. How much money do you need? Uh, no, I wouldn't do it for any money. I'd just do it to help people. Oh my god. Zenrio, you're gonna have to learn very quickly. You actually need money to survive in the city. Yeah, you you might need money. Uh, you might need to get the license as well. Uh, license? Like, what? Well, a license to preach. Otherwise, you'll get, uh, 
a rest I mean, line. Yeah, they we do like, we have uh, they do like we have a little exam. guy in our we have a little guy in our uh, in our. Uh, okay. In um. The... All right. Well, I'm I'm sure that uh I can find something to do to earn a little bit of money. Hey, how much is this necklace worth? Enough uh, to probably get you started. Uh, okay. Probably cool. around five hundred gold. Uh, is that all? <laughs> Uh, sounds like a lot. It is. It is. Okay, cool. Honestly, Zenrio, you might make a fantastic psychiatrist. A what? A what? Uh, someone, someone who listens to other people's problems and then tells them how they can be a better person. There's a job oh. the service dwellers have for that? Whoa, wait. That's a thing Add I can do. Add a character, another tear rolls off of Lysa's mask. <laughs> 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 Oh, that doesn't actually happen, but in my brain it does. My pants are wet for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that has nothing to do with the mask. Well, it's called the therapy noodle, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, for the sake of brevity, you guys uh, continue on forward for another day of travel. Uh, a bit of rain kind of splashes through. Le Leonel is kind of uncomplacent. He is not talking. Um, mm -hmm. And Evelina does not shut up. Uh, <laughs> Evelina is excited about fucking everything all the time. Um, she's kind of like the um, Jack and Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, what's this? What's this? Like everything about that's that a stuff. tree. Um, that's a tree. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> that is a rock. Same wavelength. Get off the giant rock. Eventually, eventually, you guys do reach the town of of, of Belfer Village. It is very tiny, though. Mm -hmm. um, for the sake for the sake of brevity, you guys do meet with what is now the local guard. Um, you do report what happened with the coastline. Um, I'm assuming Remy, you would be the one to kind of mediate that, given your yes. nobility and status. Um, there's a town leader. They don't really have like a mayor. They they have kind of like a collective committee. But the leader of the committee, who's this like very portly dwarf, who's actually uh, related to uh, Metalmane. The metal main dwarven family in alabas uh Ooh. he takes the information um he looks at the axe he talks to you he mentions that like since the incident where they attacked the temple happened um they've never come back so they, they don't really hold too much of a grudge because that seemed like they were kind of like gone at that point so they didn't even know that there were actually orcs still to the east of them they had no idea but they are totally willing to parlay. Um, they even have like a half orc who lives there who they could use as a translator if they need to as well. Um, they actually seem pretty open to the idea because they want to actually get more fish in because the town is primarily a mining town. You uh, see various people of very like very earthen, like no one, no one here doesn't have like mud or dirt on their hands. They are definitely people of the land, uh, specifically the mines. And they, you even see them like rolling past like all kinds of different minerals, iron, and any any different kinds of things. Um, and they are definitely at work here, mostly dwarves, a uh, few humans. Uh, but yeah, act, that trade route would actually be very favorable to them, so they could use the metal. Yep, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So they said <clears throat> once they get a, if they get approval from the city, they'll they can even like they even give you guys a letter saying that they like they are okay with this if it's approved. Once they get that approval, they'll start making roads if they need to. Red. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys gather some more supplies, some water, um, some more food. You actually start to run out. Um, and you guys proceed forward. Uh, the villagers are a little leery of you guys. Um, specifically, um, Zenrio, they're definitely weirded out by you because you guys are more like mainland now. Um, they find mm -hmm. you very odd. You're not... They've met a Triton before, like two people in the village met a Triton before, uh -huh. but you are like, people are staring. Um, and Hi, everybody who stares at me, I, I wave at them. Hi! But actually, roll, it, roll a charisma check. Okay. 12. 12. They seem charmed, but they're still a little bit suspicious. They're not too sure. He seems like a nice boy. Yeah, they also stare a little bit at um, you as well, Task. It's actually like it's the, you don't get the sense it's because you're a cobalt. They get the sense because your your color. They like even one person's just like like asks if you if you're blue and you painted yourself red because they're so used to blue cobalts and not used to green like red ones at all. Task ta ta just like flicks off one of the scales from his arm and shows it to him. Red. Wow. I know this blue cobalt. She's really nice. I should introduce you. Like they're they're just kind of making small talk. <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, watch it now. We're shipping in a region. <laughs> Task is just getting the random hookups. Yeah. Everybody well, gets they're... a date. You get a date. You get a date. 
There are shellfish, like shellfishers. There's three cobalt shellfishers that come in every once in a while. And like during the fall, mostly they mention, and they just come in and they just sell oysters the entire season and then they disappear. Uh, Task mm -hmm. will ask, uh, do you know where they actually like run off to when their business they, is concluded? They have a seafood <clears throat> store in Alabas at the docks called The Shuck. Oh man. That's a great name. That's a great fucking name. Hell well yeah. Well done, Monty. Al also, yes. al alternate names, uh, Who Gives a Shuck was also, uh... <laughs> who Gives a Shuck? Oh, I prefer Shuck and good fish. I, I, I prefer Shuck em. <laughs> No, that's all... Yeah, that's all good. No, I'm... Thank you for telling me this. Uh, it's mm. nice to actually have a little bit more of a, a kinship with my fellow race. They also mentioned to you that uh, if you're traveling in the woods, so if you're heading west, it should be less of an issue. If you're if you're heading north, there is a druid there uh, named Pine Cricket, and that they usually prefer it if you don't disturb the forest too much. But we will do our best to not do so. Yeah. Stay out of my forest. You guys gather up your stuff. Okay. Uh, you guys gather your things. You feed and water the horses. You get you kind of improve some of the tackle as well because a lot of it's just kind of like in the in the fight kind of got damaged a little bit. Um, the horse you were riding panic. Turns out it was injured. Um, so they oh. actually, uh, yeah, they offer you a different horse in exchange. Because well, they're worried it, if you... Is it injured like it has a cut or like a bruise or something? Or is it injured like something I can't fix? Like, it's like a leg problem. They would have to, like, not have it ridden for a while. Like, it can't be worked <laughs> until it's healed. It's not like a broken leg, but it's definitely like there's something wrong with the, the hoof. Like, where the, the hoof meets, like, the, the joint of the leg somewhere. It's not, like, it's not like Red Dead, we just put an OK in front of his face. <laughs> yeah, no. There you go. <laughs> They're willing to offer you, in exchange for the horse, for free, a pony. It's a little smaller, yeah. but it's a bit more hardy. But it's not a horse. They actually would really, if the horse heals, they would like to use it for the mines, because it has a lot more pulling power than the pony. Dude, war pony. Sure. Come on. Yeah, war ponies. <laughs> pony. Okay, now I shall uh, call you Dreadmane. <laughs> it's gray. It's a gray pony. It's got it's gray. It's got three spots on its rump, and it's got like a light gray mane. It's very cute. It it actually kind of matches your color, actually your 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 skin tone. Aww. Yeah. Beware you guys your rides. <laughs> it's it's actually not as goofy as you think it would be. The pony actually keeps up pretty well with the horses. It's just a lot bigger and wider. Um, I, I, can, I can see people going for the low-hanging fruit, but don't fucking be deceived. War ponies are legit in D&D. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you guys set out uh, the following day it rains, uh, which makes the trail really mucky and, and messy. Your guys' boots, like, into the into the mud. Uh, I'd like everybody to roll up the appropriate checks task. I'm assuming you're still yes. driving the cart. Okay, right. so it. Uh, that's going to be a soft 20. That's a 22. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Sorry. Yeah, animal handling for the horses. Oh, it's nice. Amazing. Oh, jeez. Well, uh, nice. Wait, we roll animal handling? Mm, yes. Correct. Yeah, animal handling to control your, your animals. Seven. Seven. Dead real, you're like, go! Twelve. Go! Yeah. Giddy up! <laughs> the rest of you guys are pretty. You guys have gotten this kind of down now. You're you're really figured out. Zenrio, your horse just follows the other horses because you are just not communicating where you wanted to go. Oh. And the horse is like, it's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> follow by my friends. Oh, cool. Uh, wow. You guys proceed um, for two more days. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's a long journey. You guys yeah, proceed for yeah. two more days, eating through hard tack and rations and dried bits of dragon. So uh, being you guys on the front again. Yeah, it's, it's the rain okay. kind of comes and goes. It's very light. Uh, at times, you can hear the sound of the ocean. Uh, and as you guys are, are moving, you hear a rumbling up ahead. Uh, perception? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This will be straight for you, Remy, because it's based on hearing. It's going to be hearing? Okay, cool. Yeah. That's going to be a nat one. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, I hear the rain. 18. 18. I'm going to give you advantage on this task. Oh, okay, 22 15. then. 16. Yeah. <laughs> that is the roar of a dragon. <laughs> and task, that is the roar of two dragons. Two very unhappy dragons. And as you guys kind of stop in your tracks, you can see almost peeking above the tree line a wing, and you see a, uh, another glimpse flashing of another wing. Two locked in battle. If anybody, Remy, if anyone wants to, I will say with Remy and Task roll perception checks both with advantage. Okay. Here we go. Oh baby, twenty four. Eighteen. Okay. 
Um, as you guys are watching this, you guys kind of pull the horse behind some trees. You watch as breaking through the tree line up above, flying above, you see a large bronze dragon. Okay. Kind of aloft flying, and you watch as a massive green dragon strikes up from the grass line. They lock like eagles fighting talon to talon, swinging and spraying their various breaths, crashing into the trees. You see birds scatter and flee. You see deer now bounding past you as you hear these two eruptious roars. Task these two dragons are, are totally locked in battle at this point. Ta Task is gonna like just bite his bottom and go, now hear me out. It would be good to be in favor with a bronze dragon. Do these just look saying. like adult dragons? Um. Uh, yeah, these look like adult dragons. Panic! I mean, ta task. Those are two giant dragons. The last time we had Mon to talk our way out of the last one. Bronze Monty. do not mean harm. They're actually friendly. Monty, quick question: mm -hmm. Just when you're strolling down the street, how often do you see two dragons fighting in the air in this? Yeah, world? for real. I mean, it's a completely untamed land, so... I just... That's what I mean. Like, if you're wandering these lands, is this just something you might see on the way? Not really. Um, I mean, it's, it's like, it's the same as seeing, like, any crazy event, like, like a landslide or an earthquake. Got it. So not, not common, but not, like, unheard of. When This is definitely, know. like, fights for territory with any creature like this can happen, 100%. Uh, task. I yield to your expertise, but if we simply leave them be, would that be a bad idea? If the green dragon wins, then yes. You're not suggesting we fight it, are you? I suggest we assist. How are we supposed to assist a dragon? I don't know, taking one shot might just be enough to distract it so the bronze dragon gets a shot as Tass ready to oh. blow. Um, as you ready your how bow, far you up watch... are they? They're really far away. Like this oh, is a far okay. distance away. You watch, actually, as the bronze dragon successfully grapples the green dragon. Um, the neck is bitten, and they begin to fly off towards the, uh, the towards the north or the south. Sorry, um, and you would know that's where water is. And currently, the the uh, green dragon is like thrashing, trying to get free as the bronze dragon is dragging it over. As you guys watch as they fly over, you hear this resounding crashing noise, the sound of waters, Enrio, as you know. And then. Yeah. There's silence. I think they went swimming. Yes, and let us thank the gods above that they did. Ah! One of the crows looks down at you guys. Ah! Oh, look, crows. They all scatter. Ah. Should we go investigate, see what happened? I would advise we keep moving. That might have been a blessing in disguise. It might have been for vain. What? I'm sorry, what? The dragon lady that visited me on the boat. Yeah, the one. Oh, you mean the magic dragon that turned into a human and made out with you? All right, following your logic, and I'm not saying you're wrong, even if it was, we can't exactly follow them into the ocean, and we're in no condition after the fight we just had. We're fully recovered now. Yeah, you guys are fully yeah. recovered. Yeah, I mean, health-wise, but not like... Emotionally. <laughs> yes. Evelyn is like, I really want to see a dragon. I really it want to might, see a dragon. it might be a good idea to see what exactly to, happened. With the to news, be fair, seeing... to be fair, the odds are stacked in our favor for us. If it is for Vane, she might recognize me, and if we go out there, it'll be a bronze dragon versus a green dragon versus Wait a all minute. of us. Task Wait, not what was that name? For Vane. Oh. Oh, her. Oh, uh, wait, you know it? Well, she used to come into our shop sometimes and just sort of, like, take stuff. Um, we couldn't really stop her. She, she liked a lot of the stuff that my dad would collect. Um, she, uh... uh <laughs> yeah, she seems nice. Um, I mean, if you know her, then great. Also, could you ask if we could have those things back? That'd be cool. Uh, Let's see what I can do. Unfortunately, that's part of the course with dragons. Oh, uh, what a small world. A horde. Monty, do we know that they're fully, like, full adult dragons? Yeah, these are adults. Okay. Um, as you guys are having this conversation, you hear this roar, like this, this, like, desperate scream 
and more birds scatter, and you just hear that wailed out by gurgling and another secondary roar, but you can't see what's happening. You can all hear this, though. It's very I clearly... Hope that's, yeah, let's go like check it, hunting. guys. Let's just go check it out. Let's just go. Oh, let's yeah, go right. bronze, are, are bronze dragons good with water? Yeah, that's what I meant for Vain. Then it that. might be lamb to the boat. If that you guys want just... to go, look, I can watch the horses. I don't want to go in here. Kiwi doesn't want to go in here, dragon. Oh, this is a... All right. Tass looks, just... Tass, Tass... Tass looks over to Remy with what information this is important. We can't let this pass by. Besides, we've all quite literally have been through worse. I, I pull out the you... portable boat. I okay. will yield to your judgment, Task, but I am vehemently against this. Oh, dear. I will take responsibility if need be. I always do. Besides, there are no, there's no clergy on the water this time, so... No, there's a well, giant dragon which is behind much the worse. Tree. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Yeah, Greckles is going. All right. Yeah, we'll please. Yeah, we're pulling the okay, portal. okay. I'll watch the prisoner and I'll watch the, the horses. We're good. Yeah, thank Kiwi? you, Kiwi. Kiwi, mm -hmm. I'm trust- Listen, I know you can do this, Brotato. I believe uh -huh. in you. I'm sorry, what'd you just call me? Brotato, because you're like a potato, but you're also my bro. I- Hmm. <laughs> Confliction. You're very conflicted. It's true, you do look like a potato. Go! Oh, he kind of waves you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I had to. Alright, let's head on over then. Stealth. Going stealthily, or are you guys just going as fast? Oh, as you can? stealthily. Okay, everybody wants stealth checks. This is not gonna. Remy is not even gonna bother. He can't stealth in this armor. Stealth. Stealth anyway. Stealth right. twenty. Four. 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 Great. Okay. Three. <laughs> Three. This is, this is stealth. This, this is wide, stealth. guys. Yeah, this is stealth. Hey, all right. Not, not the bad. worst. Hey, look, we both got nat twenty ones. On the wrong nice. side. On either side. Oh uh, my god. You guys, you guys press forward to the trees, Remy. You get snagged on by vines and ferns. You're like, yeah. Kind of kicking. Borky, you kind of just like smash stuff out of your way. Uh, Borky yells stealth every and, step. Stealth, yeah. stealth, stealth, stealth. <laughs> <laughs> They're all stupid. They're going to be looking for army guys. <laughs> Remember, Borky, just paint yourself purple. You're fine. Yeah, don't you guys, move. Never seen as a you guys head on forward, you hear like a, a, a deep kind of like moaning noise, like a. Move towards it. Okay. You hear the sound of water. Oh, that's the wrong sound. No, like that. Yeah. Oh. Play. Is it playing? Yeah, it's playing. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's playing. We hear boom, right. boom, 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 boom. Sounds like a Crash Bandicoot level. That's not. That's not what I want. <laughs> oh. Meet Crash Bandicoot. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! He's, he's secretly a dragon. Oh, there we go. I found it. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. As you guys kind of peek around, you see struggling out of the water <laughs> the bronze dragon. It is fucked up. Oh, um, geez. Its claws like curled inwards. It's just bleeding out the shoulder. The wing has been shredded. For a scale, like, for a scale, shredded. how big is it? Uh, it's bigger than Arcanus. Uh, smaller than the Silver King. Okay. Mm. Task, uh, ta task will look to everyone and just go. I will go out first. You may stay here. If you feel comfortable coming in after me, then do so. Have panic. Like a tired. Have panic. Like a tired. Familiar? Oh, like a tired golden retriever. The bronze dragon just. Falls on its side and just. Yeah, I'm moving in. I'm moving in. Remy's I'll gonna. Go. Remy is not letting him go by himself. He's going okay. with him. Greckle's going to. Look, everyone go. No, guys, don't gang up on it. It's fucking hurt. It might attack. That's why we're going slowly. Does it look okay. familiar at all? Uh, roll a perception check. Panic. Okay. Does he have advantage, maybe? No. Darn it. I only caught a glimpse of it when I first saw it. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. Ten? Damn it. As you guys press on forward, immediately the neck, neck cranes up and looks, and you'd recognize those eyes anywhere, Panic. You remember those eyes. Vervain? Slowly its head lulls and just thum 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 
bounces on the ground. We don't have much to offer, but we can attempt to heal you. I can help. Uh, you watch as Evelina kind of runs up. She's like, What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> what? I want to see a dragon. Oh, that's right. built into the scene. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a third level uh, healing word on her. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use a uh, a level two of cure wounds. Evelina's gonna also do a level three. Forky fans her with a giant leaf. I don't <laughs> Uh, un unfortunately, I don't know what that would do if I wanted to add this onto it. Uh, so you, it's a D four for or D six for every single level, I think. So it's so it's an extra D six. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one D eight, one D six, and then my spell casting ability. Uh, one D eight. It's actually two D eight, I believe. Uh, oh, okay. It should say in your character. It doesn't, unfortunately. I don't have that. Ah, beans. I'll fix that. Sorry. It's all good. So two D eight plus five, so fifteen. All right, yeah, you guys all kind of kind of come around and you all heal her. And eventually she kind of, the, the wound seal, the wing is messed up. That's going to take actual, like, recovery yeah. time to fix. Mm -hmm. And slowly the eyes, like, the eyes are like, she doesn't slowly open her eyes. Anytime she opens her eyes, it's like, open. And she turns up and she looks towards all of you, specifically you, Panic, and leans in really close. Also, you came back, is what she says. Task, you're able to hear the language, and same with you, Zenrio. We can understand her. She knows you, so I guess you weren't lying. Fucking uh, finally, you believe me. Hey, I gave you some belief. Now I have all the belief I have. <coughs> I need. Look, um, in their defense, it was a strange story. Mm -hmm. you, uh, your dragoness. It's I say this in draconic. It's very uh wonderful to meet you. Uh face to face uh in your very magnificent form uh you might know my family's shop we but run but a humble curio establishment that i think you are familiar with she kind of leans looks... forward and, like her nose almost hitting your chest as so she kind of stares at you i remember yeah um how are you liking those things uh, Are you keeping that... them away from those who would misuse them? Yeah, um, that's great. Cool. Uh, I, uh, that's awesome. Um, are you going to be doing that for a while? So how, how long do you think that's going to take? Until I die. Okay. Your, heart, your heart is that? I have Tass, like, kind of just goes like, I mean no disrespect, but are you claiming your heart is that of magical artifacts? Various other things as well. You see her get kind of apprehensive. She goes, why are you so curious about my horde? I'm not. I just want to understand why you are taking these things. I take things that interest me and things that I, I deem as too dangerous for the mortal races. Yeah. Then that was, all, that was all the information I needed. Panic, you might be too dangerous for the mortal races. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, even... Yeah, I say that in common. I yeah, the dragon kind of turns to you and then turns to panic, kind of like missing that part of the conversation. Evidently, <laughs> given what we just went through with a clergy that hates my fucking guts. Is the green dragon still here? Or are you still in danger? I have drowned it. Its final breaths. Gone. Got Tell me. by the oceans. Tell me, was it actually part of the cult that is advancing throughout the lands? Indeed, it saw fit to take over my cove. I know where, I know where their next target is, and we've just dealt with red dragons. Also enemies of these chromatics, you of chromatic scale. I once had I... friends similar to you. They were blue, living in a separate cove, far, far to the east. They were swallowed by a great storm. I mourned for many days. I take no pride or no I take no pride or joy in destroying my kin but these are not these are not something I would align myself with. I seek to actually kill their leader for he killed my family. I understand this. She stretches up. Come, bring your things. I will bring you to my home. But I do mind she kind of turns to you Zenrio that you do not take which is not yours. Well, I mean, you know, it did, anything we took was sort of just around. 
it's, it's like you know, finders keepers. It's like sort of the only rule. Taslik looks to everyone else and says in common sense. She clearly does not understand. You, you cut out there, Zito. You cut out right at the end there. Oh my god! I said she clearly does not understand common based on what we've seen. And what is, I know. Is that true? Or money? Yeah. Yeah, she only speaks straight common. Okay, I looked. I looked at everyone else. This is going to be selfish of me to ask, but we need to at least speak to her and tell her of what I've learned from the Red Dragons. I. Well, the, the more I benevolent dragons know of. Darkus's plan, the better. I mean, we already have a bit of a friend in the Silver King, so... Mm. I apologize for this detour, but please bear with me. Borky shouts uh, from the distance, Is the fan working? <laughs> Borky's still fanning her. <laughs> we will she, gather brings up a, and... she brings up a oh. talon and she just slowly lowers your arm, Borky. <laughs> like, stop. Okay, just... <laughs> Thank you, man. <sighs> we will gather our things and meet you here then. Thank you for your time. There is a path, and she kind of points. Ancient dwarves and kobolds used to take it. It is very short. <laughs> short. <laughs> All right, we'll gather our things and meet you there. Okay. She walks. She can't fly anymore. She tries to, and then just kind of staggers, and she's just like, no, I'm going to walk. Uh... Understandable. So, what's the deal? She... I need to at least tell her of what Darkus is up to. And she... And we might have a new ally if we speak to her about these. She is one who collects magical artifacts and keeps them away from those who would misuse them. <laughs> then where are we going? We're going to follow her most likely back to her horde. She cannot speak with us here. No. It's best that if we just follow her and speak in her own, in her domicile. All right. Though, Gather the card. Be... Honestly, uh... never thought I'd see her again. Well, now that you have, what do you think? Scarier than my last Gosh. opinion of her, but... Uh... She's a big lady. <laughs> she is. Well, don't worry, so long as you don't touch anything. I look to everyone and I point at Don't touch a fucking thing unless she allows you to. Is that clear? Okay, but like, here's a question about that. Like, just a quick one. Um, what if it's something that she's borrowing from, you know, that like I found? If you touch anything in a dragon's horde, she will most likely kill you and then have her eyes on us. Okay, so I'll put it till later. That's for you and her to decide, since you Look, actually can't speak Draconic. She seems friendly enough. Uh, the sooner we get back to Alavast, though, the better. So let's just make haste and go to this cove. We'll try to make this as quickly as possible. Let's get the cart. Yeah, you gather Kiwi and Lionel um, and the cart and the ponies, uh, eventually taking that path. It's very steep and rocky. You end up tying the, the ponies and the horses to some trees, mm -hmm. um, taking Kiwi and Lionel with you. Don't really want to leave them behind. Mm -hmm. um, Lionel is not fighting you guys. He's just pretty defeated at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, he's still in his armor. You're surprised that Gruul didn't take it. Gruul said, uh, Gruul doesn't take weapons or armor from people who still wield them. That's yeah, their Let's take our prisoner to a dragon's horde. So it basically <laughs> looks like we have So basically it looks like we have two uh Orin paladins with us. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh I mean your armor is pretty clear you're not an Orin paladin. You're definitely a bird, so at this point. Well, yeah, the armor still beat the shit. It is, yeah, it looks super solid. But he still has um, the mask, he can put it down. You guys enter what looks like a bay cove. So there's water leading into this cave on one side, and then there's like land on the other. Uh, you hear the sounds of water dripping from stalactites um, as you enter, uh, eventually leading into some, some very decently width paths. Um, and you see past one of the paths, like a little tunnel, about the size for like an average human. Uh, Borky, you, got, you fit in perfectly fine. Uh, and you see hanging in the door frame, like this, this various seashells hanging off of strings, similar to your home, Zenrio. Mm -hmm. um, and as you guys pull back the curtain, uh, you see 
just piles of stuff. Um, you see marble statues with the arms missing. You see um, actual boats, like full-on boats oh, um, of, nice. of intricate and beautiful design. You see uh, suits of armor, and you see a lot of paintings. Um, and they're all of the same thing, which are all knights riding on horses in like the neo, like the um, neo. Oh god, I'm gonna, I can't say his name. Neo. Napoleon. 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 My Napoleon. brain just stopped. I was thinking of the. I was screen. like, what? <laughs> Come on, yeah, Paul. Like, French. You should know him. Yeah. Neo. Napoleon. Neo. No, no, no. It's fucking. It's Neo. Na no, no, it's Neo. Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon. It's Napoleon. <laughs> okay. Well, it's like all in that style of painting where it's like all these knights in armor riding on the back of their horse with like, you know, the slicked back blonde hair and like it's all they're all wearing like for a dragon. It's weird to see them have all that yeah. kind of ironic. Ta in a way. Taz just like looks around, just goes, huh, I thought mine just having a thing for crystals was weird. Um, you guys walk in and you see there's like a little table, like a very cute little little table made out of a uh, of a of a, um, a steering like a steering wheel, a boat steering wheel. Oh, I love this. Yeah, that's cute. And there's like there's some barrels. It's very like the house is very cute, and you see her now in her human form, stark naked. Uh, she's not wearing oh. any clothes. Oh. And immediately, Lionel's like, oh god, like kind of looking away. Remy is and... also going to avert his eyes. Uh, are you cold? Do you need like a no? Or look, something? Remy, see how wrong you were about my. <laughs> <laughs> Or he just takes a sip uh, from his water bottle. Oh nah, man, least... he's just crazy. Could someone at least give her a robe? Something. I can, I can take off my jacket and. Okay. Like, do you want to yeah. wear this? <sighs> she like blushes and she takes it and she puts it on, and she well, has she's a little teapot. Remy will look. Yeah, but she's she's pretty decent. Like she's good, kind of buttons it up the front, but she's definitely not wearing pants. Um, panic! I, hmm? I pull, I tug on panic. I look at him yeah. and go. Nice. I know. <laughs> uh, she walks over with this teacup, and she's got all these like these cups. They're all different, and they range from like one of them is like a um, gold inlay. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen a gaijin, but like when they repair pots with gold, mm -hmm. mm. it's like a cup, a teacup that's got gold in it. Wow. Mm. Oh. And like that set aside, there's some Tricadian teacups that are probably worth like a lot of money. And a few various other very fancy silverware, um, and she just pours this tea into this into these cups, and she kind of like smiles, offering it to you. Uh, in her human form, you do see bruises and like her nose is bleeding, but she seems fine. All right. Um, you get the sense that she fights a lot, which makes sense for where she is. Uh, Task, do you think this tea's safe? Task will drink it. Just drink okay. it. It's not the best tasting tea. It is definitely made by a creature that has probably more constitutional based taste bud. No, about the about strong. the same as sugar's tea? No, actually not as bad as sugar's tea. Sugar's tea was like a gut punch. This is more like a like a slap on the face. Oh, like goody. A, yeah, but like it's, like a it's not the, it's not the tea you're going to get used to. This is like the leaves <laughs> aren't cut up or anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, we, are in a, we are in a dragon's den. The tea is the least weird thing here. <laughs> yeah. uh, you notice as you guys come in, she sees Lionel. And she just kind of, the eyes kind of raise a little bit. Task holds his hands up, like in, like in defense. Don't worry. We know who he is. We have him as a prisoner. We're taking him to Alavast. Um, one, Why is she eyeing him? One one second, Nadine. I need you to actually step away for a couple minutes. Can you guys just continue? I need to go to the bathroom really quickly. Okay. Go ahead. I apologize. Okay. Mm. No worries. Um, you watch as, as I'm allowed to keep going. Is that what he said? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys watch as she kind of stares at Lionel, kind of steps forward and cups his face, and he's like, "What's happening? What's she doing? What's happening?" Uh, uh insight check. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Thank you. it's a little weird. Uh, oh, fucking that one. <laughs> that one. All right, let me give it a shot. That's Thank 22. you, Greckles. Good, good. Welcome. You always got my back, Birdman. Uh, I, probably, I probably know what's up. What's in that one as well? No, you don't. <laughs> Greckles. You don't know what it is, but you know it's hot. <laughs> you guys are kind of like distracted by the tea, but Greckles, you notice her like look to Lionel and then look to the paintings on the walls mm -hmm. and then look back to Lionel. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, I think I, I I think it might be the armor. 
And then the Greco's gestures to all the freaking pictures. Remy's yeah, gonna look down at his armor and be like, mm, cover it up. <laughs> you kind of cover it like, no, it's not, it's not my best mm. outfit. But you uh, notice he also has blonde hair too, like a lot of the, the subjects in the painting too. Uh, not long. Oh, oh boy. Mm. She's got the thing for blondes. I was gonna ask, Panic, did, did was she very hands-on with you? Get... She was a little lips on too, if you know what I'm saying. Can okay. someone please explain to her that Wait, he's I fine? Don't, I don't get it. No, she... A task, well, does Tass put two and two together with that insight? Uh, yours was a 15, you don't actually. Okay, well, I got um, Yeah, but with, with Greco's explaining, you watch as she kind of swings behind him and she uh, busts off his bindings and he just kind of rubs his wrist. He doesn't try to run, he knows better than to do that in this situation. Yeah. Uh, and she kind of grabs both of his hands and kind of pulls him, like skipping almost, into the horde and just kind of puts a hand like to tell him to wait there. And you watch, she just reaches in Looney Tune style and pulls out an easel and slams it down. Oh. Okay, then. I see uh, where this is going. Hmm. Oh, she wants to paint him. And then you watch as she starts digging through stuff and she pulls out various paint sets. Like She's got like 50 different paint sets. Uh, uh, ma ma Ma'am, do you mind if we at least speak to you while you're doing so? Yes, of course. Don't. M tell him not to move. I, I look over to, I look over to hit Lionel and I just go, Don't move, she's painting you, buddy. What the fuck? Okay. Don't just kinda look. Fuck. Tash just like looks at her and gives her the same point he gave to everyone else when they <laughs> Don't fucking move. Is this how baby dragons are made? Tash oh. curls his finger and bites his lip. Oh, dear. Did you ask that to Fravain and Draconic? No, I'm asking everybody, like, in common. I, We're not going to answer that. No. Task, task, if, if you would, please. Of course. So you wish to unite with me. She kind of beats you to the punch, hearing you guys kind of mulling about. I've taken allies of the smaller races before. Yes. Kind of task just, like, just, like, clears himself. Yes. I befriended Th a few of the sailors, too. It's nice to have sailors here again. Well, hopefully with the actions that we've taken back at the Orc camp, you might have a little bit more sailors coming in and out of the bay. Oh, yes, I've met the Orcs. They're... they have such interesting colors. They will be taking over the bay now in place of the Orn. Hopefully the seas will be a little bit more open to trade. Hmm, that's good. I had noticed a few suspicious ships. They left me on board, they were very friendly. But I noticed a lot of the things they've had I've seen before on other ships, especially swords. Don't... Mm, the hair. She's, she kind of takes a wrist and kind of smudges some of the paint. Oh, no. She kind of wipes it off and she goes back to what she's doing. You the know, like, frozen. Are the... Do these, war, do these warriors have the same armor as our friend here? The ones who I boarded their ships of, yes. I noticed some of their, so, their swords were familiar to me. Unfortunately, they're the ones who have been taking other ships and destroying them. Ah, mortal fighting matters, I see. More than that, remember the reason why I told you we have fought red dragons? Mm, yes. The cultists tried to actually make a deal with the Orin clergy and tried <laughs> you to- watch, You watch as the paintbrush breaks through the easel. Oh. Is that so? These people with the sun on their chests. <laughs> Panic sort of sweats. He doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, none of us can hear. We just <laughs> yeah. see her getting angry. He's got kind of violent all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, Task. Oh, well, I mean, Task just like holds his hands to everyone else and just uh. like remains very focused. Like soldier stance, like how he would address his, uh, his other kid. Humans worshipping chromatic dragons. It's more than that. The human, there are humans, yes, but the one I told you, I know his name. The leader, known as Darkus, he is a dragonborn of Colescale. Mm. He is the mastermind behind all of this. I am from Oath Iron, of land far to the north of here. I'm afraid I have not heard stories of such a place. You will not hear stories of my clan as I am the last of them. He had used his influence on a blue dragon that we were, and he had slaughtered my people. Anytime you mention blue dragon, she's just like, like, it's like a, like, suddenly she switches over to like feral mode and then immediately turns back into human mode almost. Yep. Oh, nice. Like, 
Can uh, you translate? I'm very confused. I'm scared. Okay, so basically, uh, she knows some sailors. So she's looking for some sailors. No. <laughs> No, uh... I mean, that's what it seemed like when she was on the boat with me. Yeah. Well, has she seen any sailors? Um, what? Do you know someone that speaks the language of Chinese? Um, so <laughs> I, uh... I love you, thank you, Octo. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh, like, um... She is happy that there's gonna be more people out on the, you know, on, like, the ocean now that we cleared up the whole, you know, clergy boring problem. Um... And now Task is giving her his life story. Okay. All right, and she's not upset anymore, is she? She kind of dusts off herself and kind of cleans some of the paint off of her wrist. Oh, I... I can understand why that could anger you. My mother was killed by a red dragon. Do you hold me against that? No, you are not a red dragon. You're a kobold. Hmm. Cut from the same cloth, maybe, but of a different pattern. Thank you for understanding. Your people are like a quilt, whereas dragons are like a sheet. That's a very nice way of looking at it. I'm very... <laughs> it's unfortunate that a lot of the other mortal races don't see it. <laughs> Indeed. Dragon kind are all different in many different ways. I've heard tales of, of kind chromatic dragons, but I have yet to experience such a thing, so... I keep we... my guard up. In terms of me assisting you, I'm 100% willing to do so. Though if I'm going to work with mortal races, I need to know that it is within good faith. I do enjoy the sailors, their stories, and their... And she kind of turns to panic. Appeal. I find it alluring and fun. I've brought many here. Do you know of the city Alavast a little bit further away from here? I do. I'm a little shy to go visit to be honest i don't much like crowds but um that is understandable ma'am we actually have run into a silver dragon who has made himself known to alavast oh the silver king indeed i know of him he's one of the original ancients hmm Jesus. we've we've had uh, a little adventure with him and actually his children actually work alongside us i've met a couple of his children as well if you would like ma'am I mean this as an extent to to open an invitation to you to the city of Alavan. We can speak on your behalf and bring you to the leaders of the city. Hmm. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Persuasion. No, it's good. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. hmm. She kind of like slaps the uh, the painting set closed. You know, I do like to be alone, but I haven't really been enjoying being lonely. I think you would find... Well, oh, actually, let me restart that sentence. We were very secluded as well, ma'am. And coming to this city to find the man who killed my family and finding friends in them, he turns and, like, motions his hand to, the, to everyone else behind him. Zen points to himself. Me? <laughs> it's comforting to know that I can actually put faith and trust, even if they are not of the same bloodline as us. Well, if you wish, you may send a dragon to me and we may speak. Very well. Do you mind if I recollect this, uh, recollect this location for that? Hmm. She kind of looks towards, uh, towards Leonel again. Leonel's just kind of like, do I move now? What do I do? Pass, I, promise you, you, I, pro I promise you, ma'am. I am... Tell oh. the city if I am to help them, I want a knight. As in person? Mm hmm. Like him. She kind of points to Leonel. I'm certain we could find someone who is willing to volunteer in this situation. Hmm. Very well. A, di a diplomatic exchange, if you will. I'd love to keep him. She kind of points, tease, like kind of teases a little bit, kind of poking at Leonel. Leo's like, what's happening? Tass just like smirks and looks at him and looks back to her. Ma'am, if it weren't for the fact that we needed him for something else, would have given you handed. Oh. But I promise you, I will try to uphold the bargain as best I can. It would be appreciated. She leans over, she kisses Leonel on the cheek, and Leonel's like, whoa! Like, uh, 
uh, looking at you, Task. Like, what just what did you just tell her to do? Tash just like smirks and just like holds his hand to him, just like chill out. It's fine. Yep, yeah, she likes to happened. taste you before she eats you. What? <sighs> Tash, 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 Tash stands at attention and kind of like gives like you know like a not not like a salute but like a little like fist to the chest. Tarask of Iron Oath. Fravain. Daughter of the Bronze Sea. Ma'am, we will do our best to uphold the bargain as well as we can. Indeed. But if I hear of anyone trying to go after my horde... You, have, you are more than welcome to kill them. I will show a fury. There will be storms for all ships. Uh, do I notice anything that she's... Can I see anything that she's taken from our shop? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Roll, roll an investigation check, I'll say. Investigation? Oh, boy. Oh, dear God. Uh, natural oh, 20. Natural oh, dear God. Oh, boy. You see, um, you see a couple bottles that you remember were mm -hmm. potions that your father found from a sunken vessel. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, a sword, a uh -huh. black sword uh -huh. that you guys also found that was uh -huh. like, a, like a case, like a, like a walnut case. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see your guys' couch. Mm -hmm. She took that too. She took the couch? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I, you know, I thought I recognized. Hey, how are you enjoying that couch? It's really nice, isn't it? It's very comfortable. Yeah, couch. it's really comfy. I know. I've I've slept on that many times because you know it was from our shop. Taz's um, eyes start to dilate. Like <laughs> no, no, no. Taz, what one eighties? Like one quick snap? Like cracking knuckles? Zen. No. She pick. She picks up the painting set and she actually hands it to you. To me? No, to Zenrio. Oh, what, what is, what do you want me to do with this? A gift for your family as a forgiveness. I did take the other items for protection services, as I said, but the couch was self-indulgent. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's a great couch. Wait, I have an idea of how we can make this right. Um, can I, uh, can I, is, is there any, is this the painting she's been doing? Uh, it's the paint set that she it, is using. It's the paint set. Okay. Okay. I've got... All right. Thank you. Thank you for your generosity. Um, uh, thank you for shopping at... Uh, uh, thank you for shopping at our family store. Uh, I will consider this a barter exchange. Uh, enjoy the couch and all the other things that you took from our shop. <laughs> Miss Ravane, if you actually do wish to step into Alavast, seek out a place called the Sweet Dragon. You will find us there. Oh, she kind of blushes when the word sweet dragon comes out, but with the dialect, it becomes, we own a place called the sweet dragon. So she thinks you're saying you're a sweet dragon, and then you finish the sentence. She goes, oh, it's called the sweet dragon. <laughs> Let her interpret it as she wants. <laughs> Thank you. You've been very sweet. And she kind of kisses you on the forehead as well. Tass will just accept it and nod. Walks over to panic, kisses you on the mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> hands back, hands back your jacket. Kisses you on the cheek as well, Zenrio. Oh, can I hold up my hand for a high five? Uh, she kisses your hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Borky, she gives you she gives you more tea. <laughs> oh, you had to step out though. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. He Hopefully, he comes back. He's still yeah. he's still getting tea. Yep. Task will like just bow, like it will task will bow. Thank you, ma'am. Hmm. Be careful. You as well. Please tend to your injuries before taking another romp into the ocean. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Of course I can't. Cross, she I... crosses her arms and crashes into the couch. Like <laughs> Tass okay. smiles. Of course I can't. You're a dragon. Mm-hmm. Free spirited. Mm-hmm. I Tass take it. Turn around and look to everyone else. I take it that went well, Task. Very well. In fact, so well. <sighs> In exchange for a knight in shining armor. She's willing to actually assist Alavast. A knight in shining armor. Well, it'll definitely be nothing, nice to nothing have a dragon. Nothing Blame mischievous. Fits the bill. <laughs> nothing mischievous. Uh, she, we are welcome to at least tell of her location and of her assistance to Alavast. It would be wise to get that to the council as quickly as possible. Well, it would be nice to have another dr draconic ally. Well, then we should make haste to Alavast. Indeed. Yeah. Cast Turns to one me more time, set. and we will take leave. Well, then let's make haste then. All right, you guys head out. It's not a lot of paint in this paint set. It's like yep. maybe like a small vial. Okay. Panic will yeah. stay behind for just a moment to 
look behind his shoulder and wave to her. Leonel looks to you, Pan, and goes, can I leave? Yeah, come on. I, I, I looked at him, I snapped at my finger. I snapped my finger, like, come on! He kind of follows you begrudgingly, but he goes. You guys all I, exit, leaving panic behind. Yeah, yeah yep. I'll smile and wave to her. Mm -hmm. And then I'll leave. Kind of tilts her head. Seems like you get the sense that she thinks kissing is how you, like, that's how humans say hello or whatever. Doesn't seem well, to be any sort of in between. <laughs> yeah, there's no in between for her. It's like you kiss or it's nothing. <laughs> Task is gonna correct her. He's just like, okay. It's like that fucking. It's like that uh picture of like the the dog like the dog licking the snake toy. And it's like why he lick. Why he lick? I could I, I could honestly imagine Task getting that kiss on the forehead from a fucking dragon. Just go photorealistic. Oh. Fuck yeah. Like a I'm so realistic confused. lizard face. <laughs> yeah. Photorealistic lizard face. Yeah, she no, didn't no, kiss no, the no, bird. She's that, racist. It's the fucking. It's the fucking like uh. It's when a uh, leopard gecko smiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the most. It's the most genuine happy thing I've ever seen. They're oh, so cute. I'm back for a moment. Yeah. You miss dragon kissing, but it's fine. You, you have more tea. Uh, uh no, Bor Bor yeah. Borky kind of like does the Mr. Bean thing where he puts his, like his hand in front of her face and pushes her back so he can shake her hand. <laughs> 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 Ma'am, I do not know you. <laughs> yeah, at this point, panic, you're left behind. Um, and yeah, for Vane, you kind of give her a smile. And she kind of tilts her head, almost like, what do you want? <laughs> like, like, not fully understanding. Just uh, saying goodbye. You guys head out. Lionel kind of shuffles awkwardly. He's now unbound. He's not, he's following you guys. He's not going to mm -hmm. run. There's no yep. for him to run now. All right, let's uh, get back in our car and get back on the road and head to Alabast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys Can get back on your car. Yeah, Kiwi's cool. Kiwi Kiwi's there, and he's just like, you guys have fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. We, we might uh, have. A, we might. Yep, I'm sorry. Go it ahead. Was a productive meeting. We might have a potential new ally in a dragon. Huh. Well, relax, relax, Kiwi. Right. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit's good. Everything's good. Kiwi, well, let I... me let me at least ease your burden on dragons. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a cop. It's a common, if it's a common color like red, green, blue, you do not want to deal with it. But if it's silver, gold, any sort of metallic, those are the friendly types. Oh yeah, no, we got attacked by dragons all the time on the, on the Scottish ship. Mm. Mostly white ones. Usually the pets of, of, of some, some giants, usually. Cloud giants, they didn't like us very much. They, the white dragons hold an alliance to the clouds, to people in the clouds? I think they're like pets or something. Um, Interesting. No, that's actually some good info. Thank you. Can I can I be like messing around with the the paint set and like painting on the the canvas? Sure. What do you want to paint as you're walking? Uh, I want to paint this, and I drew it in MS Paint. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. oh man. Oh okay. my. I can import it into the game if I see it. <laughs> yeah, it's a gift. Oh, it's a gift for her. All right. When, all right. Oh, we want to here for this again. Okay, hold on. I gotta put this in the game real fast. Oh here. yes. Oh. It's her. It's for Vane. I drew her. I know. Let me oh, let me grab God. it here. That's not. that is. Look at the gams is, on no. her, boys. Oof, that's, oh that's my God. Big. It's so go. good. <laughs> Look at those majestic wings. <laughs> okay, hold on. One second, everybody. Uh, She's on this, we will explain it to the to the uh, podcast people here in a moment. Well, we can how explain it while she imports it. How did you it, export so... a, a PNG on... MS Paint? On MS, MS Paint, that's the default, I think. That's the default. Yeah, you just save right? it as. Yeah. yeah, just save it as P. Yeah. For some reason, it won't let me upload it. So, basically what this is, do you need me to change the format for you? What do you want? Hold on. I'm trying to... It's not letting me put it in the thing. Hold I'm on, let sorry. Me, let me, let me, no, I got this. I'm going to do, I'm going to make this happen, all right? The whole time you guys were talking, I was drawing this in MS Paint. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. Hold on, hold on, I can do this. It, it, uh, after seeing uh, it. So for the, for the people at home who can't see this, uh, basically what it looks like it's is... It's a photorealistic dragon. It's like it, somebody it really professional good. drawing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, yeah, it's super great. It also won't let me... Wow, it just comes up as white. It doesn't show up for me. That's Here, I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh my you. god, there's so many dragons! <laughs> <laughs> Where? The space oh, no. between spaces are all dragons, actually. Yeah. Can you, can you help me out here, Task? I'm getting it, I'm getting it, don't worry. All right. I believe. In something. 
something. I'm important. working on it too. What 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 do you prefer it being in terms of a file? J format? JPEG, just JPEG. JPEG. Okay, I got you. Oh, yeah, here less, we go. Less less file space, and then I can just do got whatever it. I want with it. I got you, fam. Kaboom! I got it. You got, I got it. it. Here you are. Let me go to desktop. This is and... fun. This is fun for the lot for the podcast crew. They're like, I hope they get it. You know, I really hope they get that. <laughs> like, really hey, sorry, sorry podcast oh, crew. And, and for sorry, those who are, who are concerned, though, I had to step away. I might be dealing with a little bit of food poisoning. I'll be okay though. Ooh, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. No, my son was kind of upset a little bit earlier. I was just trying to ignore it. But <laughs> yeah, I... I heard that, and it was like I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, right, no, I think I, I, just, I... I just had to. So yeah, I'll just be quiet okay. until the end of the game, pretty much. Let me do. Okay. Where did I put this? Okay, dragon, please. Thank you. Please, dragon, please. Oh, oh, oh. Are we in luck? Should be. It's a JPEG. Drum roll. It's so weird. It's it might be roll twenty actually, oh. not let it do that. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's yeah, just you know what? You know what? I, I, I'll tell you what. You know what I can do actually. Uh, hold on. I, I could take a copy of the Discord link and can put you, it. Into can the you pull chat. it up on your screen, I, Kurt? Yes, I can copy link real fast. Okay, cool. Yeah, just just show it that way. It's not working. <laughs> picture of a dragon, and by great picture, the greatest stick picture of a dragon. There we ever go. That's what you're seeing, everybody. That's what you're saying. Um, everybody. and as you as you finish drawing that, it comes to life. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, oh, no, what? Yeah. What? It, it starts, starts. It starts moving around. Oh. Yeah, hymen, hymen. <laughs> Me hymen, hymen. He's my son, and I love him. Wait, wait, actually, it's a girl because it's for vain. She's my it's, daughter, and I love her. It's Doodle for vain. Yeah, it starts walking doodle around. For vain, yes. Oh. Said, said Rio, what did you just do? Oh, I don't know. Is this like a? I mean, things happen that I didn't realize. I cast Identify on the on the easel. Uh, it's or not the, the easel, it's, it's the paint. Uh, I cast Identify on the paint, then. Basically what the paint is, it has a name, I can't remember what it's called. Um, basically whatever you paint becomes an object, but it seems like Zenryo being a sorcerer and the, the fact his magic is pretty crazy might push that a little further with this magical item. Zenryo, I think you just found your in and alabast. Oh, what? <laughs> Do, my, my daughter? Uh, the item is called Marvelous Pigments. Yeah, there we go. Does it go? Oh, it's not all right. There's not a lot of it, though. There's only like a tiny little like ink jar of it. Oh, nope. okay. That's that's still good to know, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, your, dragon, all right. little, your dragon is walking around. It's kind of it's very. Oh my god. Is it actually breathing fire, though? No, it is not. Okay. Well, uh, excuse it, me. That was a roar. It wasn't fire. <laughs> oh, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. It's yeah, made yeah. of. Oh, it's made so of... it's going like this then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's what it's doing. Yeah. This is amazing. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> It's walking around. It's made out of like the, the same canvasy feeling material that you painted on as well. Oh, dude, it's like the yarn of canvas you get at a fucking art store. Yeah. Oh, gross. That's rad as hell. Oh, come here, my beautiful child. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Remy's Remy like... going to get on his horse and just rub his head at this point. You've seen, oh, Remy's seen weird shit on the battlefront, hasn't he? No, yeah, not exactly a painting coming to life, though. <laughs> oh my god, you're the fucking main villain from Portrait of Ruin! Oh my god! <laughs> Charlotte! This is a, a bump game, this is amazing, but Jesus Oh god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> so you guys, you guys get on your cart and everyone's- Yeah, we're going, get the hell out of here, please. Can you draw me a cat? Can I have a cat? <laughs> Just like trying to get you to paint more. Hey, um, listen, I didn't uh, want to bring life into this world if I can't care for it 100%. Oh this my is... fucking god! Oh god, help. Oh, oh, that's please, very no. responsible of you. Yeah, you know, but I mean, yeah, I could draw you a cat. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it with the pigments or just in general? Oh, totally hang on, give me a second, I'm opening up MS Paint. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no. Monty, oh, please. Oh. I have sidetracked this adventure, and I'm okay with it. You did it's this. Great. It's great. You did this. It's fucking great. <laughs> Only in this adventure could we spend 20 minutes doing painting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so draw a commission, oh. then. There you yeah. go. Yeah, Octopip, there's your next stream. You gotta draw. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, I, have oh, draw, I have to draw Zenrio's Menagerie. <laughs> you could draw it on the screen, too. Don't forget. It's oh, true. yeah. Hang on. I yeah. have a... So wait, do you want do you want this as draw it on, um, the, draw it on the screen? Draw it on the screen. Do you want, screen. You want me to draw it on the screen? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, right next to uh, the ethyl. 
Yeah, do it kind of small. And no small. tablet. You only are allowed to use the mouse. Oh, that's what I used for the dragon. Where, where am I dragging this? Uh, Under where it says Ethiel. Okay, right, got yeah. it. Right, right in this area right yeah, here. Right, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, right here, okay. Yeah. Yeah, draw right there. <laughs> Zoom in if you need to. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we it's, go. It's, it's already magic. It's coming to life. <laughs> Kurt, you're gonna want to switch back when it's done. Yeah, Kurt. He might oh, he might be sick. Oh, did he leave yeah. again? Oh no. Oh no, I hope he's not sick again. Oh. Can chat see it? I don't know. No, if no, they can't because right it's now. up on the dragon. Oh no, it's up on the dragon. Just leave it on the screen. They'll see there it eventually. <laughs> They'll see it eventually. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Cat. It comes to life. <laughs> Evelina oh. is thrilled and overjoyed. As you guys bound over the rolling hills through the forest, you break the tree line. And off in the distance, past the horizon, you see the glowing beacon, the crystal of the attic hanging above Alabast. Oh, God bless. And that is where we'll end the session for Oh, today. God bless. Yeah. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I'll be right back. Bye, Austin. I just got Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Hi. Um, oh, good. you have to, right now you have to switch. But yes. I'm here. All right. Oh, yes. The cat. Can uh, one of you uh, uh, host the sign off? And Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I got you. you so we'll much. make it quick. Let's do it quick. Because, yeah, okay. Chris, really hot. All right. Let's start. Let's start with Monty. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow it's probably gonna be um, it's gonna probably be more more Resident Evil because I think I'm pretty addicted. Or it'll be art. Oh, one of the two. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then oh wait, on Kurt's screen all the dragons are there. Yes. Why is it well, he changed it back. Screen? What? Well, the pictures like I I brought all those pictures over. Why is Rule Twenty acting weird for me? Weird. Yeah, it might be um, having some bugs. It probably is bugging on my end. But you can find me there. Um, you can also find me, uh, yeah, on Twitter at Monty Blue. Additionally, the Bartroba, it's on DMs Guild. So if you want the, uh, if you want that in your games at home, you can go and find that. Uh, sick. Uh, Mr. Edward Bosco. Yo, what up? Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here at Twitch.tv. Just slash my name, Edward Bosco. It's really simple. Playing a lot of sports games uh, on Friday. I'm going to be helping out Hey Mr. Rabbit over on his stream. Uh, oh, he's nice. streaming. He's uh, streaming Trails of Cold Steel. So that was a game that I played Machias in, and they really like it when Machias is horrible, and they can yell at me live. So I will be there for that. Nice. Yep. Cool. Uh, Gaijin, what's up with you? You you can find me at Gaijin Kumba no e H here on Twitch and Gaijin with an H literally everywhere else. As far as stream goes, we've been streaming a lot of Yokai Watch. Th been a very up and down experience capping off with the fact that uh deadpool mr x and rocky balboa <laughs> all have all have yokai uh <laughs> persons i i don't i don't even it's don't it's even. so bizarre it's, yokai <laughs> sona. it's the yokai sona yes exactly Yay. um i might be playing more of that because i have to beat it to get to the end game for footage for my content later um i might also be doing pocket rocky 2 a lot of people have been asking for that and i would love to get back in a taiko no tachijin a little bit so nice. that's what i'm doing for streaming uh otherwise i'm doing my same culture and gaming videos be sure to check out my video over afro samurai and the real afro samurai of japan yasuke nice. and uh hope to see you guys around cool connor and they can find me on Twitter at Senile Snake, and they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. You can see nice. me playing uh, party games, uh, The Witcher Three. We finally we're finally on that, and uh, Borderlands Two. Ooh, nice. Good old Borderlands Two. Uh, meme lands, more like it. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, Zito, are you, is Zito back? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Okay, Zito, do your do your your thing. Oh my thing very well. Yeah. You, can find, you can find me at twitch.tv. Uh, based on what I was told, uh, it might be possible that it's only information and not the actual DLC for Hornet tomorrow. That being said, if that is the case, don't worry, I still got things to show you. Uh, I got art streams I could do. I got uh, super flights happening tomorrow, 100% because I need to bring that. 
there is something else I do. Who are a sub to my uh, to my channel? Uh, on our Discord, we actually have a uh, we have a link for those who are subs to play the Rook mod, which is a Kobold uh, mod for you to play as as a playable character for Slay the Spire. So, if you play Slay the Spire and you want to play as a little kobold boy where the gimmick is versatility in weapons, versatility in your traits, and also gold. There's a lot of gold. I have a card that's called One More Score. <laughs> if, you, if that nice. sounds cool to you, then go check it out. Nice. Um, and, uh, of course, the one, the only, Takahata 101, right here on his channel. Sick Boy MacGuffins. Yep. Sick Boy MacGuffins, exactly. Yep. Uh, you know what's great? And when you have to walk your dog, because he hasn't gone poo tonight. Yeah. Yay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll be good. I'll be okay, everybody. Don't worry. This has happened before. Where good. can they find you, Mr. Great Octopimp? <laughs> oh, me? Oh, yeah, you, uh, silly goose. You can type in Octopimp into the search engine of your choice, and I'll probably find up. Uh, I'll probably like Lycos? Like Lycos, exactly. Um, if uh, I've been streaming, I usually stream pretty much every day. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow. This is Valentine's Day, uh, and uh, I will be back. I have a major on Friday, but I think I'm still streaming. We've been doing FPS February, so we're doing all classic FPS games. Doom. I saw you playing uh, Doom. That was pretty cool. Yeah, oh, that I, was such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Doom 2016 was amazing. I really liked that game. Um, are you gonna play Doom Eternal? Oh, the soundtrack! Yo, yeah. Oh my God, Mick Gordon is amazing. Yeah, he was so good. I, I was blown away by how much fun that game was. Um, Ugh. we played Wolfenstein 3D. Um, I want to play the Doom roguelike. I want to give that a shot. Um, Do but yeah, we're gonna Doom Golf. Oh, I want to play. Doom Do you want to play Doom Golf? Doom I also... Hey, hey, uh, hey guys, let's let's wrap it up. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, check me out. I'll be I'm around. Anyway, thanks. All right, for take care, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Take care.